When last we saw our adventurers, they had accepted an intriguing and yet somewhat shady offer from the mysterious Dupree Dupont. I'm very interested in your offer. It takes a hundred, but I, I want to know this whole story. And further to that, if the last team died. After a little haggling, the party made their way via an ocean route to a secret entrance to the base of the wizard's tower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then yep. you walk to that bit, pick it no. up and throw it. No! We don't want to run out of chicken wings. Well, well, we can just use the same one. No, we it's have... okay, you can just use what the same one. What we think We have a lot of shaved ham. We can just lay off the shaved ham. I have a bladed weapon. Can like a battle axe. <laughs> we can stride forward on a pathway made of ham. After successfully navigating several magical illusions, they discovered that they were not the only thieves stealing into the tower this night. Having him actually face you now, you notice that he has two little pointed horns that are coming out from his forehead and a small um, small black tail that's kind of coming out from his breeches. Oh, so he's, like a... he's very well dressed. I don't know how you got in here, but don't move. Abella can see a tiefling that's been thumbing through a book and just sort of noticed her there and just has turned around and gone, you're in a pocket. I'm Jasper Crow. Very pleased to meet you. Please do not move. What do you mean in a pocket? It's what? The, if you move somewhere else, you'll risk falling into another pocket dimension. And frankly, I've been trapped here for hours and I don't want to lose what could be my only way out. So don't oh. move. Good. Can you walk slowly towards me? Uh. And he starts to actually close the distance towards you and he's taking very deliberate steps and keeping his eye on you. I turn around to see if I can see behind me to my companions. Okay. Um, so you guys can see Abella turn to look at you, but you can't actually see them. I turn back to look at Jasper. Jasper's still there. He's like, please don't do that again. You may disappear entirely. Oh, good. Okay. Jasper, what are you doing here? So to you guys, what you've basically seen at this point is nothing but a pantomime. Abella appears to be talking, and then she sort of starts taking a few hesitant steps. Abella, do not, don't go around the corner. We'd like to stay in eye contact. Uh, unfortunately, Abella doesn't hear you, and she moves out of sight. Nine? Nine. I think she's talking to someone. Does look like it. Should we uh, maybe pursue her? <laughs> Already doing yeah. it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> is already barreling we, down. Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm with him, yeah. yeah. I'm like battling. In fact, he's never keeping up, really. I, I, I was about to say, I'm struggling to keep up a little, but I'm, I'm right on board. I'm feeling like Ryland would also be straight in there on this one, yeah? Certainly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like. Uh, so you've all drawn weapons and you're all like. My out. axe is ready in one hand and I am approaching Abella with all speed. Okay. <laughs> um, I wouldn't say weapons. I think at this point in the um, area we are, I'd pull my guitar out and see if magic's going to work better. So three abreast, you run down the uh, hall with Nezor following behind, We're trying to get his guitar off his back. Um, I, I, as a point, as we go along, I do check to yep. make sure he is with us. Yep, no okay. worries. Um, Does anything no, happen? No, there's n that she just has disappeared. I feel slightly sadder. Jasper, what are you doing here? Uh, I was robbing the place. <laughs> oh, good, me too. Oh, 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 oh good, okay. Um, uh, good place to start from. Yes. Hello. Hi. I'm Abella. Jasper, I've already introduced myself. Yes, you Pleasure. have. Do you have um, a last name, Abella? Uh, no. Oh, good. <laughs> Caution, I like it. I like it a lot. Excellent. Okay, well, uh, if you'd just like to walk towards me okay. uh, further, take a few more steps. Yes. Frosh is a bit confused. Confused he is. Just like, didn't ah, he Frosh? before have a pretty good idea of the true nature of things? Frosh. Like, not not the true nature, but like when we were in the, the grove and stuff, he was in tune with it. So this would suggest he that was he... He was showing had, interest when you threw the chicken wing through the, the veil. Yeah, like, so this would show that yeah. even he's not picking up on anything here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know quite what to make of it. Um, and my ability to communicate with him it does not it's, extend much beyond feeling so. No, he, he's he's basically feeding off yours, which I'm assuming is sort of a... A mixture of frustration, confusion, and a little bit of anger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of like hit something yeah. with his hammer. What is he hitting? One of the bookshelves. 
<laughs> it's big thunk of wood, and yeah. are they bookshelves now? Yes, they're proper bookshelves. Proper bookshelves. No, no. Are we getting still a bit of forest about the place? No, like it's it's very much just like the floor is still sort of a cobblestone with a bit of earth in it, but yeah. it's pretty much just. Is there a proper door? Like, There's a hallway full of bookshelves. Is it lit? Yes, there is sort of an ambient light that appears to be coming from the roof. Okay, yeah. but it's a corridor. But it's a corridor. Yes, yeah. absolutely. It's it's and gone long? from sort of a pardon. Long. Yes, quite long. Um, although Can it does appear to the end. Oh, yes, you can. It turns. It's yeah. sort of, sort of a dog leg. Right. Can I walk to where uh, I last saw Abella and stand where she was standing? Sure. And I close my eyes and I see if I can feel anything. All right. Cool. Could you write me a, roll me a perception check? So there's a d twenty and roll off your perception. Yeah, a three. So three total. Three total. <laughs> um, you feel you're as lost as you were with your eyes open. Uh, would anyone else like to do anything? Yeah, I'm going to do a perception check to see if there's like bookcases that have slid, so you know, shifted dirt or right. anything like that, to see if there's a hidden passage. Sure, roll me a d20. 12 plus 5, 17. There's nothing noticeably different about this place than the other, the other part of the hallway you're on. The only thing you do notice is that there appears to be a lot of green books. Like all the backs of the books are all green. May I take one of the green books out and open it? Sure. And uh, is there anything to read? Yeah, yeah. it's uh, Alchemical Theories by Morton Renan. It's a good name. Hmm. Yeah, well done. Um, I would put it back and... Uh, is there any sort of notice? I, I would search for a pattern in these green books. They actually look all the same. But in sort of their displacement? 16 per shelf. Yeah. Four shelves high. Is that all green? All green. On any particular, like, does it become there's less no vari- fewer greens? There's or no, no, no variation from what you so can see. All green books. All green books. Yeah. So I've caught up. Can I? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, are you all right? That's all. I'm good, I'm good. You checked one book. Can I check another? You open up Alchemical Theories by Morton Renan. All of you, them? Are the same book? Possibly. You'd have to open one more to I convert. check a third. I will also check a book. Both are Alchemical Theories by Morton Renan. You would need to check all of them to confirm that they are all the yeah. same. <laughs> <laughs> or you could draw a conclusion, one or the other. Am or. I able to walk back the way I came? Yeah, absolutely. I do so. I walk about I, six I, foot back the way we came and turn back to look at the others. Uh, Ryland, I would, I would advise politely not going too far away from anybody else. No. <laughs> cool. No change anyway. Yeah. I'm actually quite annoyed. So I'm going to start ripping books off the shelves. Just to see, there's got to be a trigger somewhere that I've missed. Yeah. So you're doing the... Yeah, so I'm just yep. pulling them all off the yep. shelves. Uh, the books are hitting the floor and just making a mess. Good. All right, uh, Abella, you and Jasper are currently in a corridor. Okay, I've been here for about know, three hours, so... I reach forward and just gently poke him. What are you doing? Oh, just making sure. Hello. Hi. <laughs> He sort of does the same, and but it doesn't on your forehead, and goes, "Oh, you two should kiss." <laughs> uh, okay, now that's done, done with. Okay, um, yes. okay, so I've been here for about three hours. Uh, all I can see is, well, books. To be quite honest, I've gone every variation of this I can think of. I've gone forward, I've gone back, I've gone left, I've gone right. I can't find a way out of here. And I thought maybe there was like a secret passage trigger or something behind this. So as you can see, I have sort of been going through books, but oh, yeah. it's all the same bloody book. It's Alchemical Theories by Morton Renan. Hmm. Don't know if there's any interesting theories. Well, not really. It's just basic al- alchemy. Oh. And you've tried going around the corner and there's nothing. This is more books. Hmm. I have a look around. Has any of the books changed or moved since I've been here? No, they're all the same shade of red. Hmm. I go to one and open them up myself. I know you said they're all the same. I just have to check. It's Alchemical Theories by Morton Renan. Huh. <laughs> Push it back. Well, stay in sight. I'm going to explore a little bit. Oh, you're not going so, anywhere without me. No, I'm no, just no. Gonna... You come with. Come with. All right. Let's just start walking down this hallway and we'll just see what happens. Okay. So, yeah, you walk down the hallway to the corner, which bends right. Mm-hmm. And... There's another hallway, and it looks like it bends left. Huh. And it's like this the whole way, Jasper. Pretty much. I mean, I've, there's been no variation, I can tell. And the books are all the same. 
Well, I mean, these ones are blue and those ones are red, but there's, other than that, not much difference. It's all the same bloody book. Bloody wizards. Huh. Okay, um, I'm going to try to see if I can find any kind of trigger that you might have missed. Uh, he rubs his temples, he's very exasperated. Uh, sure, fine, whatever. <laughs> I'm just... I've done everything that you're about to do. I just, okay. I can't figure this bloody thing out. Have you tried digging? Well, no, but it's cobble. Oh. Yes. It's hard. I pick up a book, just a random one, and rip out a page. And what about that? Nothing happens. Oh, okay. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Jess was like, yes! Ha! <laughs> All right. I've got the down. idea. He gets, gets another book. He goes, I'll just rip a page too. Ha! And he's looking at you, and he looks a bit like, a bit cracked in the eye. Like, <laughs> and then he comes wow. in and he goes, done exactly the same thing. I thought perhaps that's part of the illusion. I thought maybe the colours were significant. I can't figure this out. I do not know what's happening. How high are the shelves? Can I climb up them? You could probably climb up to the top quite easily. Yes. I've okay, tried so that. I'm go- are you sure? I've tried it. You're welcome to. Okay, I don't think you you'll see? like the outcome, but... Okay. Well, come. I'm going to do that. Cool. Stay there. All right. All right. And I climb out the books. Still there, Jasper? Okay, so can you just do me a dexterity check, please? Uh, 20. Okay. Well, great. Um, okay, so you climb up to the fourth shelf and reach for the fifth one, and immediately your view of the world shifts. You're now staring at the ground, and you now have to roll me a dexterity check. 16 plus 7, that is 20. Sorry, just checking. Is it plus 7 or plus 2? 3. It's mm. 5. Your base should. Plus two. Yep. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Wait, where'd you get the plus 2 from? Because she's proficient. That's just, no, that's just save. save. Yeah, which is, yeah, oh, okay. which is what you're doing. Cool. Yeah. Five, so so with, a check, with a check, you would do five, but because you're saving, it's now seven. That's okay, 25 is easily beatable. Um, but yeah, so uh, you've managed to catch yourself. You've now flipped and you're hanging. And you're hanging by a hand. And Jasper's about head height and you swing past. Hello. Yeah, yeah I tried okay. that already. Okay. I let go and just kind of orient myself on the ground. Well, okay. I did tell you you wouldn't like it. Okay, did you come here with people or are you by yourself? Oh, I'm by myself. Because I came here with people. Oh, okay. So uh, the fact that they're not here means that they have to be somewhere else. Yeah. I start kind of feeling around. Yep. Yeah. Um, what, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? Something? I'm trying to feel if I can come across one of them and like touch one of them. Okay, great. <laughs> As if I'm trying to feel, I'm uh, trying to uh, see if it's uh, a visual uh. illusion. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, for those I of you guys. I sense a presence. <laughs> <laughs> An unsubtle presence. <laughs> All right. So Jasper's just staring at me. He's like... No, no, I'm just seeing. I'm just seeing. Okay. I do this for a while. I'm not seeing. All right, back with you guys. So... Uh, do we have any means of turning a book a different colour? <laughs> for those playing at home, both Ryland and Clarence raise their hands. <laughs> uh, Ryland opens one of the books. Yeah. What book is it? Alchemical Theories by Morton Renan. I start to read aloud from the first page. Alchemy is the most noble art of the combining of chemicals in order to create fusion or disillusionment. When done correctly, alchemy can change senses, alter form, create death or increase strength, among many other notable actions. It's great. What happens? Nothing. Well, I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Uh, did open, you have a thought? I open my backpack full of books that we stashed and pull out a blue one. And and put it on the shelf? Yeah. On the one I didn't ransack. Yeah. Okay. The shelf, the books that were had a green back changed to a blue back. Ooh. And it's like a ripple effect. It's sort of just... And there's a sort of slight, almost like ice breaking sound that kind of cracks along the, but it's only the books on that row that have yeah. changed the color. Do you have a different one of a different color, Clarence? Uh, what colors are ours? We've got green on the ones that are on the wall currently, yeah. blue on one shelf and green on all the others. Do you have a red? Red, that we will put this one on this shelf here. Great, so that shelf turns red. Is there another noise? It's very much the same effect. It sort of ripples across and they, the backs change colour. How many colours do you have, Clarence? 
That was, I believe, all that you... Yeah, I will read one of the red books. Okay. The book reads Alchemical Theories by Morton Renan. <laughs> is, 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 is anyone else really hating what's-his-face? Albert <laughs> Renan? Morton Renan can suck a... Never mind. May I, may I, may I... I'm going to pick up the book that he put on the shelf. Mm-hmm. Opens it, reads it. What does it say? Alchemical Theories oh, by Morton Renan. <laughs> This is the one. Did this say anything last time? Can no. we? When he pulls it off, does it change? No, they say the same colour. I'm going to get the writing implement and write, Magic is stupid <laughs> by Clarence Longbottom. <laughs> I'm going to take the blue books, and, and uh, one blue book, and go and put it on every single shelf. Yep. And Both much, sides. And the colours change to represent them. Mm-hmm. Although, are you putting them in the same shelves that have also had other colour changes? I would do it on all of them, I think. Okay. But I would probably take one book off. The ones that you... Attach- Actually, wait, wait. Before I do it, I would take one green book and one blue book. Sure. And then I would do... Sorry, one green book and one red book, and then the blues. All the blues. So only the only two books left in the room would be the blue and the green, and so there is it. Okay. As you do so... All the books on the left-hand side and the right-hand side turn the same colour blue, and that crackling noise gets quite louder uh, and ripples to the end, but then there's no change on the corner or behind you. Yeah. But they are now all blue. What do you think? More? Yes. (laughs) I want to know what happened, because these books that we had before, the blank ones, which I got a backpack full of, when we wrote in them... Yeah, the pages changed colour. Yes. Did that happen with this in this room? The pages. Did the page? Because I wrote holding, magic, magic is, is stupid, stupid and by Clarence oh. Longbottom. <laughs> I'm going to put that in his shelf. Okay. There's sort of a strange pinging sound. I'm like, now going to take a different book and look through it. Magic okay, is stupid now. by Clarence Longbottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, good. Your, your uh, contribution to literature is <laughs> moving. I'm liking this. I wonder. I, I hope. I I'm hope not. This is confusing. These all say the same thing. <laughs> and now. Clarence, my friend, would you like to put, or Island, would you like to put different colored books on different colored shelves and we will just continue swapping? Okay, while you're all discussing that. Huh, nothing, nothing yet. You, you quite finished there or? Oh, my arms are getting pretty tired, yeah? Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Um, so what do you want to do? Has there been any changes in the books? No, there's made no change. Hmm. I mean, look, we can keep walking and see where it takes us. I mean, I have only been walking for three hours. It might only take us another hour to find an exit. Have you tried running very fast through? I could say that. <laughs> uh, again, I didn't like the outcome, but... um. What, what was he... Okay, tell me first this time. Well, um, I tried to run really fast around the corner and uh, I found myself quite disoriented and I tripped and fell. <laughs> quite frank. Is that... Because of magic, or just are you very good at running? Or I'm very good at running. Okay, I'm very so good at running. Probably magic. Probably, but it could also be that I just landed a bit funny and um, my head span. Uh, I pick a random book and have a flick through it again just to see if anything's changed. Well, it's still the same boring alchemical text. So, what do you want to do? Do you want to back forth, stay here forever, and die, and leave a beautiful corpse? <laughs> That's nice of you to say. Uh, well, well yes. I was talking about myself, not you, but I mean, oh. sure, not too bad either. <laughs> he was doing uh, so well. Thank, thank, <laughs> thank you. Um, no, let's try to get out of here. So, okay. I take all the books off one shelf and I take my rapier and see if I can break through the shelf. So, you're going to step through the shelf? Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you give me an attack roll, please? 18 plus 7 that'll be, so what's that, 25. Max? 25. Okay, great. Um, I'll get you to roll damage. Great. Okay, so how much is that total? 10. 10? Great. Okay, so you yes. deal 10 huh. points of damage, and the rapier actually sinks in quite deep. Ooh. Okay, back to you guys for a second. Um, so where is everyone situated? So I, I'm still kind of the back from where we were, so yep. the closest to where we came from. I get sick of this grab a writing implement and write the exit is around the corner and put it back in the shelf. Interesting. Okay. Um, well, I, well, first, yeah. I tell everyone this. So yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm writing the exit around, is around the corner to see what will Can't happen. Can't be worse than basics of alchemy. Fair enough. 
and then I check the books and no, make sure that's, that's all checked. No, yeah, that's fine. No, um, it's you've written it down. And it's on another book. It's got um, yeah, Take Magic it. is Stupid by Clarence Rollbottom featuring. <laughs> the exit is around the corner. Um, okay, uh, as you take a step, can I get everyone to do a dexterity saving throw, please? Yes, my dice. Oh. Oh. So can I just thirteen? Okay, so I got a six. So I got plus three twenty. I got sixteen plus seven to twenty-three. Okay, well, Ryland's probably on your left anyway. Um, so lucky you didn't roll <laughs> lower than lower than five. Um, a rapier blade ejects through a row of books and is about half an inch away from your nose. Holy fuck balls! Sorry, I'm no, okay. No, no, I think that is a, a justified response to this. Uh, I, I, I get, get a book <laughs> and and push the end of the and, and sort of and actually no, I, I think I would probably shout. Uh, hello. I will shout through the wall. I hope you hear me. Uh, you can hear a muffled something coming from the other side. I'm going to push the book back yeah. harder. And then I will look at Ryland. Well, I will sh- uh, try shouting again through the hole yeah. because presumably it's a rapier. It's very yeah. small and thin. Hello? Anyone? You can hear Scan's voice coming from the hole that you've punctured through. Oh, thank God. Hello? Oh, it's... Is that someone? Yes. Hello. Shh. Hi. Wait. Stop. Shh. Hello. Shut, please. Shut. shut. Oh, she I can't doesn't. Hear what you're saying. Be okay. Stand back. Uh, stand back. Okay. Stand I'm standing back. back. All yours, Ryland. Oh my God. <laughs> Ryland hefts their axe in one hand and slams it into the wall. All right. You bring this axe down and it shatters the bookcase and it's explosively. But huh? it's almost like watching glass shatter. Huh? Um, Jasper. He goes, holy shit! <laughs> and steps back. And goes, I did say stand back. <laughs> um, what he said. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Who are you? Oh, uh. Oh, hello? it's Jasper. He's fine. He's Hi. fine. Hi. Is he fine? Why are you here? Hello? Is uh, anyone going to thank him? Holy shit, is that a dragon? Oh, dear God. I kind of very thankfully rush forward. Is anyone going to. Oh, I'm, I'm not oh, much of a you. hugger. Thank you. Okay, that's. Oh, you're welcome. Sure I was you're welcome. Thank, oh, thank you. Okay. I'm going to make an insight check sure. to see if I recognise this fool from the tavern. Yeah. Okay. 19. 19? Doesn't appear to be. No? No. Oh. Okay. I'm going to sort of take a step forward Oh, between <laughs> um, him and the rest of us. Hi. Uh, well, this is rather awkward, isn't it? What are you doing here? Jasper, oh, was it? Jasper, yes. Hi. Uh... I, I was robbing the place. <laughs> you too, huh? This is nice. Yeah, right? Who told you to come here? Where, where did you get this idea? Oh, oh very much myself. <laughs> uh, no, uh, no one sent me. I just uh, broke in. <laughs> uh, Rylan takes a step forward and just rests the axe on one shoulder. Oh, aren't you a gigantic lady? <laughs> what are you here to steal? Uh, well, in broad terms, anything that's not nailed down, to be quite frank. <laughs> That could take a while. We have no particular problem with this. We are here for a specific item. Mitts off that, and I think you are welcome to continue. Yeah, is this... Mm. Oh, well, uh, it's all right to me. Well, uh, I see you've managed to make your own war. I don't know. I should have thought of that myself, to be quite frank. What, hitting it really hard? Well, I mean, it doesn't many really... other places and doesn't always work. No, I, I mean, I... Well, uh, well I mean, nice I... Nice thinking on this rapier, by the way, Bella. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was good work. <laughs> Nearly killed a person, but yeah, that's fine. Oh, did Narrowly I? Narrowly missed oh, her and missed the Oh, well, it's, I'm, I'm it's glad fun. I missed you. Who's the clown? Oh, he doesn't <sighs> like that. I, no, we call him no, little no, people. No, <laughs> no, 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 no clown. <laughs> <laughs> ah, uh-huh. okay. I'm uh, oh, sorry. I should have just. Uh, I shouldn't have just assumed. That's a bit uh, presumptuous of me. Jasper Crow, at your service. Nezo Vagulis. Ah, Vagulis. Ah, very nice to meet you. Um, hmm, it's a bit of a Valenish name, isn't it? It's where I'm from, not. Ah, where I didn't I like. detect the accent before. Excellent. Ah, well, great. Uh, so, uh, Jasper, um, Abello, I know, of course. Uh, hello, uh, and. Um, didn't catch your name, your name, or your name. And he gestures at Ryland, Clarence, and Scan. I didn't give it. Okay. Um, well, I'm Jasper Crow, and he extends a hand. Okay, no Stop problem. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm kind of used to it being a tiefling, as you can see. 
no, it's not a race thing, it's a thief thing. Well, we all gotta make a living. <laughs> Rylan laughs at that. Uh. Ah, sorry. Yeah. I am called Skern. Ah, oh, pleasure to meet you. He puts his hand up. Yeah, I would shake it. Excellent. Yeah, no, he's got quite a firm grip. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, I think we're all in the same uh, same problem here. We're, we're trapped in a hallway <laughs> with no exit. Um, other than the one you've just made. So, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. And he gestures at um, Rylan. He seems very sort of in awe, but also a bit nervous about the big, scary lizard lady. Um, is Rylan taller than him? Oh, yes, significantly. Okay. He's a tiefling. He's about five foot six, five foot seven. Okay. He's on kind of the short side, but he's very... Yeah, so he, like he'd be looking down on the, the halfling, but not oh, yeah, by abs- much. But not by much. He's not halfling short. No. Right? In fact, his size actually probably helps him with theft. He's got a very thin, wiry kind of frame. Um, you actually notice he has like a little, um, almost like a dart hook tail that is sort of swishing around behind him. Uh, Ryland shakes his hand but doesn't say her name. Okay. Well, well <laughs> when you get to know me, you'll like me. <laughs> Jasper, um, what did you, uh, before you came into this particular wonderful maze mm. situation, uh, what other experiences have you had with this castle so far? Ah, uh, well, there was a uh, particularly nasty room full of armour, and uh, before that, I, uh, I had to deal with a uh, rather intricate and magical lock on his front door. You came in the front door? Mm. Yeah. No, well, Mano's not here at the moment. He's off at some big to-do up at the mansion. Ah. Well, that's nice. Um, interesting as well. That's why I broke in. I mean, when you, you thought, I, okay, I may be crazy enough to break in and steal, some, steal something from a wizard, but I'm not going to do it while he's here. <laughs> well, no, 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 this is true. Um, interesting, though. So. All right, so... Well, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. So, uh, why are you all here? I mean, Our if business. I'm a thief... Uh, well, Seem like you're if you're sort a of thief, trespassers. Then we are probably not the people who would be telling you why we're here. Um, but uh, suffice to say, when we get where we're going, we'll find what we want. The rest is yours. Um, we're not oh, here for indiscriminate pillaging, if that's what you were getting at. Oh well, I'm very much am. So <laughs> I think our uh, interests you know, align somewhat. I think we'll fit well together. We're not at cross purposes here. No. So uh, let us continue. Yeah. Should we, since destroying that wall worked? Should we maybe destroy another and see what happens? We could just check if the exit's around the corner. Did we not walk around the corner? No, we just about got stabbed in the face. Okay, can we continue? I nearly got stabbed in the face. My apologies. (laughs) I I would like to see where that goes. Yeah, all right. So the six of us together now at this time. Yes. Abella, please no wandering off this time, my dear. Okay. (laughs) Jasper struts over to Abella and offers her a bowed arm to like, right this way, my lady. Ah. Thanks. Kind of tentatively, like, but slightly impressed, puts it round. Like, oh. <laughs> we don't all have to hold hands. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm Only still if you going want to, to, my dear. <laughs> I'm still going to stick to the back. I feel safest behind you. All right. Uh, okay. So, are we going back into the tunnel we came from, yeah. or are we going down no, the hallway that we just ours. entered? To? Yes. yes, they brought us into ours. Very well. Okay. So together, Jasper, arm in arm with the burla, we proceed down the corridor. Excellent. Uh, so you turn the corner, and there are blue books. Fucking blue books. Fuck. Do you know they're blue here? They were red in the other place. They were red, yeah. They We've were had they green, were green and blue. We, we made them blue, and oh. then we made them red, and we made them blue. We, we actually you... discovered if you take a different coloured book and put it on the shelf with the, a different coloured mm. book, then they all change. Hmm. Clarence, you seem to have made a noise like you have figured something out. Share, my good friend. We should bring some of their books oh, I like into this. our hallway. Have we gone around the corner? You did go around the corner. Can we go back around the corner? As a group. Why not? Sneak a peek? As um, a group. As a yeah, group. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jasper spins on his heel. Right this way. Oh, and he sort of struts oh look at this guy. I, I make sure I'm still at the back even though we've just turned <laughs> around. <laughs> And, uh, you know, it is just as common for the raptors to take the one off the back as it is the one off the front, you know. I feel solid I can fight, but we'll, we'll see. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Oh, yeah we've, uh, we've gone back. So. Yeah, so you've turned the corner, and the hole in the wall is still there. Oh, yeah. Das ist gut. I honestly didn't expect that to be there, to be quite frank. I'm agreeing with you here, Jasper. So, 
if well, I locked a big enough hole. Shall we go, shall we grab, I like this plan, so we grab a book from this one, the, co- the uh, various... Can I just say, we shouldn't go through, we should just reach around the corner and grab one. And you want to give it a reach around, yeah. yeah. I would imagine we might need both colours. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. actually carrying a green one to blue. Yeah. So um, can we kind of make sure we're all staying connected and someone just well, kind of leans? Just in. as long as we can see each other, yes. I'll walk through across the hallway, and someone can reach around and grab one of the other books. I cast Mage Hand and get oh. the hand to grab the book. Oh, you're full of surprises, Mister Clown. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm no, sorry. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. no, no He's no, an no. abstract musician. Oh, I see. Very yeah. abstract. So, uh, so I, I pull out my star and card. cast. Hand. I really yep. enjoyed yeah, this yeah, hand. Book. A book zooms to your hand from across the hallway. Nicely done. Excellent. Uh, are we putting another book in there, or are we taking that book and putting it in with ours? I don't Let's know. Do as long as we have all the books, okay, it must, must come in handy. <laughs> Let's try around the corner first, in my opinion. Okay, as the DM, which freaking corner? Because at this point you're in an okay. injunction. No, no, uh, by, so we've smashed a hole, Yep. right? They've got a colour there. Yep. And then theirs was a different colour. Like ours were two so different colours on either side of the hallway. Okay, yeah. So you've Theirs was the colors. same. So all four. Were there three, three or three. four it's colours? Red, blue, green. The yeah. corridor that Jasper and Abella were in had red books. The ones that you were in were green. You then started playing around with the colours and made them blue. Did you make both sides blue? I was a little unclear. We you? actually were just frantically. I so there are blue and green. Yeah. And red. And red. And dispersed. On that side, on that dispersed. Okay, great. And when you turned the corner, which was around from where you were, all the books were blue. Right. Okay. Are me and Jasper just like still linked? Yeah, he's not let go. Oh, good. (laughs) I think he likes you. Oh, that's interesting. Jasper, you seem to have taken a very quick shine to our girl here. Oh, well, you know. (laughs) Technically, I saw her first. She's not a piece of property. She is I a also was person. making a jest, Longbottom Tinkers. Ah, <laughs> uh, Jasper kind of watches you both amused. He's like a little bit. He's a little bit nonplussed on his face. A bit vacant. <laughs> well, he has just learnt part of his name. He didn't know his name before. No. Yeah, no. He's, like, he's that's what I mean. Like he's looking at you both a bit. <laughs> Getting a dirty look now. I give, I give, I give Ryland and Clarence a tolerant, if sort of somewhat. Children, sort of a look, of a, but not not as looking down, sort of a, just a, do you mind? <laughs> That's acceptable. <laughs> um, and then we proceed with the plan. Which was? Turning the books red, like, with the book from that card, for the other card, the, their, like, their Trying corridor. Trying to make the colours the same. Yeah. So all corridors, all the all corridors are all red. Okay. So you do so, and there's actually, again, that sort of ice shattering kind of noise. Oh, God, what's that? Um, as they change colour. Yeah, it's, that before. It's, like, oh. it's like the colours are sort of draining away from them, and then, but from the point where you put the book into the shelf. Uh, so it spreads out from that, but makes a sort of an ice crackling noise. And it's just getting faded. Yeah, that's sort of, well, they're, they're changing colour, but it's like if you had, how can I describe this? Dropping ink into yeah, the water. Yeah, kind of like dropping ink. And it ink. goes... Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it is making it... Yes, but it's making exactly the same. It's changing that colour. There's no in-between. It's just turning that colour. But it's progressing along, along that row only, and changing colour to... Oh, we were, I, I meant to do it on every Okay, well, one. then you do that. But what I'm saying is each time you do that, it makes the same noise and the same effect occurs. So what colour are these books now? They're all red. But like a faded red? No, they're all red. Like okay. the same red. Does it travel... Forwards and backwards to a point? Yes, the end of the shelf. So it only affects the shelf, not the entire bookcase. There are four books. Yeah. There are four shelves, there's 16 books on each. And there's, okay, so there's dividers. Uh, yeah. Length, well, no, no, as in like. Height-wise dividers yeah. as well as shelves. Yes. Yeah. So I imagine we'll then do all of the that books. That was my intention, yeah, yeah, this hallway. All right. So we all stick together and but put some books in yeah. places. I use this chance to subtly, discreetly disengage. From Jasper too. As we are proceeding along, Jasper's just watching your hall. I I whisper in her ear, just check your pockets. I am going to suggest that maybe he helps if he wants to get out of here. Otherwise, he's welcome to. I've tried this. Well, not this, but I've I've tried manipulating the books. I don't see much point in it. I subtly check my pockets. There's nothing missing. Oh, good. Um. What do you want me to do? I don't have a book. (laughs) 
<laughs> Look so at me. Pick up one. a red one. Be okay. Grabs, he grabs a red one. And? And change the colours of all the books. All right. He goes up and he starts stuffing it into the shelf and does exactly the same thing. So yep. he wanders Good. off a little bit and does that. That's fine. He's probably off near uh, Nezor, actually. So we are, to the back we are staying party. close together. All the books now read in yep. this corridor. We come back to the middle. Yep. yep. Come back to the hole. And yeah, yeah. Yeah. What uh, has happened? Anything? No. Any of the books change in content? Oh, oh yeah, read one of our books. But actually, we might have changed the things because we're using her book from her. Pick yeah, up maybe. a random book that was there before and yeah. open it. See our Chemical it's Theories it's by Ren uh, Morton Rennan. Have a I'm, flick I'm, through. I'm liking Alchemy list. I have minute. a flick through. Mm -hmm. It just seems to be alchemical textbooks. It's the same stuff you were reading so before. So there is no writing. Defacing of the book. Because when we did this before, we wrote in the book, and then it turned into Magic is Stupid and... The exit, oh, yeah. the, the, door is, the exit is around the corner. the corner. We managed to change all of the books. I like. Can, can we now try Clarence's idea of the three different coloured books? Yeah, on, let's do yeah. on Von Shelf. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So just yeah, red, blue, green. Pull it all out. <coughs> do these blue and green ones still have the magic? Is stupid. The exits around the corner. The ones that I, I need. Sorry, I need you to do a strength check for me, Clarence. Oh, that's my forte. Not with a four, but it's still forte. Uh, um, plus strength is three. So that's a seven. seven. Okay. Uh, much like the sort of force repulsion you get from when you try to push two magnets together, mm. it's pushing back quite strongly on you. You're not able to get much purchase. I put my hand over Clarence's and yeah, add my strength. Cool. Do an assisted check. So. 16. Six. Okay. Uh, the same repulsions in place. These books are not moving. Right. What if we... Because these are primary colours. What if we make everything... Well, green isn't green. Oh, really sorry, no, colour, it's not. Yeah. I was wondering if but we could change a colour Technically, to a green is a primary colour in the light spectrum as opposed to the paint spectrum. Mm, yeah. yeah. So uh, we could try and make, say, yellow. what we got. Do yeah. we have a yellow book in your bag? No. But we got... Green. How much is adding blue and red? Pee on the book and make yeah. it yellow. Blue and red. <laughs> that blue and red. Always disgusting. with the bodily fluids. Blue and red could make purple. Oh, I reach into my bag and take out the book that I wrote my name in and some other things in. Mm -hmm. What colour is it? Well, it's a red binding, but the page you wrote your name on is black. Mm -hmm. And the page with the chicken grease on it is yellow. And the grass page? Grass page is green. Okay. I put that into one of the shelves. Okay. That was previously read. Mm. All right. <laughs> I feel like this isn't the solution, but it's interesting to find out yeah, what he I makes him do. What happens. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> Can I always stab a shelf? Can you please roll me a dexterity check? Mm. Not a save, a check. So just add your dex, which is five. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, that's 17 plus 5, 22. As you try to place the book into the shelf, the book that was next to the hole that you were, shifts into the front. <gasps> oh. Oh. Advantage. Can I try it? I'll try a few other times. Do I yeah, get the roll same? Yeah, roll me dexterity checks, please. So that is a... Uh, 13. Thank you. And then another 13. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you try either side. Um, the... It's a weird feeling. It is much like when you try to, again, push those two magnets together. When they slip to the side, it's much like that. But every time you do so, the book that conveniently covered up the hole that you were trying to put it in shifts back. It's not actively not letting you get it. So it's organic material, it doesn't like. Do we have a chicken wing? <laughs> <laughs> we have three chicken wings. We still have ten pieces of ham. May I ask Look, what you were attempting what? to achieve? Can we try to put chicken wings? <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask why you'd bring chicken wings to a heist? Can it's, I ask why you I wouldn't? Was, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was hungry. That was free food. All right. Well, I'm not going to argue that. <laughs> yeah, let's get sister. a chicken wing and put it on a shelf and see what happens. Look, why not? <laughs> so <laughs> I politely for us in the past. <laughs> I politely Jasper, don't pull request. that face. It actually has That worked. wasn't Jasper, that was me. That is how we got here yeah. in the first place. Yeah. So it's primarily could please, chicken wings. Can I please have one of your chicken wings? Yep, absolutely. Thank you very much. Any two, two and, left, people. Okay, and I place it on the shelf. Okay, it sits on the shelf. <laughs> now give it back to him. <laughs> 
Okay, that didn't do anything. No. There okay, so what? it doesn't like. I give it back to Nizzle. May I? Different colours at once, and it doesn't like books that have been modified. That they don't but like the book that's been changed. About books. What if we clear the shelf and then put your book on there? I agree. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I take off all the remaining books. Yeah. And I get the book that has my alterations in it, and I try placing it in. Okay. Yep. Yeah. You put it on the shelf. Oh, now I have to think about this. Um, no, this is again like this is the joys of D and D. You you know roughly what's happening, but players are always going to surprise you. <laughs> exactly. Who thought rubbing chicken grease on a book? <laughs> okay, the book sits on the shelf, and something odd sort of happens to how it appears. It almost takes on a two dimensional look, like it's just become flat. It just sort of does this weird. And it appears to be almost like you could run your hand across where the where there's supposed to be depth and there's nothing Hit there. With a hammer. Um, no, I want to touch it first. I don't want you to touch it. <laughs> okay. Make Jasper touch it. Yeah, yeah Jasper, do you want to touch this? Touch this book. I am not touching that. <laughs> um, oh, the okay, so. <laughs> no, I'll. I'll they say it. sorry. It's just like the mental image of Ronan going. I want to. I want to make Jasper make Jasper touch it. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't. I Lift him I, up I, and I, make him touch no, the no, book. No, no, no. I can't control him. It just makes him friendly, and he already seems friendly. I've got something then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he says, shuffling his cards furiously. I, when we when we like touch the book, and he refuses, I'm using command. Command, uh, you speak a one-word command to a creature you can see within range. The target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or follow the command on his next turn. The spell has no effect if the target is undead. If it doesn't understand your language or if you can command it directly, um, or if your command is directly harmful to it. Right, okay. So, so what would be the command word before we... I'm going to point at the book and say, touch. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, so... Oh, no, I don't roll. It's just a wisdom saving throw against my spell modifier. Which is... Uh, uh, 14. 14? Yep. I rolled a 16, naturally. Touch. No, thank you. I'm fine. <laughs> um, well... Mm. Ha! Feet, feet! It's a chicken wing. Yes! I was just going to say yes, that. <laughs> Um, I don't understand what your obsession is with chicken wings. I'd just be quite frank. Their solution to most problems. What do you mean, obsession? Nizzle, could I please have... one chicken wing. Oh, no, you have... I have have three left and may turned. May I suggest we may turn the chicken and then just rub it over the affected area on the bookshelf. While you do that, Rylan, can I get you to do me uh, a perception check, please? (laughs) Yes, we we, we can do that. Perception. What's perception? Uh, fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Thank you. Um, so, what are you doing? You're smearing chicken grease over this. <laughs> Good. I'm tempted to. <laughs> okay. We, we've made hand, so we're not touching it. So All right. We want to so, see if it is a flat surface. Okay. I guess. The chicken wing approaches the flat surface, or the appearance of the flat surface, and then itself appears to take a two-dimensional shape. <gasps> like there it does go. a sort of a. It's a weird. Uh, two left. Can we bring it back? Well, no, well, now we have a flat one. <laughs> <laughs> what what happens to my mage hand? Um, you appear to have lost. Con- it's almost like something's in- impeding it. It doesn't. It doesn't all- respond. Doesn't respond. Can it get the chicken wing? Would back? one of you mind shooting it? I'm not it? going to put my hand through there. Uh, may I? Ha- I'm going to draw my pistol. Mm-hmm. Okay, just before you do that, Clarence, can I get you to do a perception check, please? <gasps> These perception checks are worrying me. Yeah, they're confusing the hell out of me. 21. Okay, that'll do it. Um, there is a rustling sound that is getting ever so closer. And it sounds like someone flicking the pages of a book. I have a bad feeling. Coming like from this. all around. It's approaching. Oh, okay, I'm going to go. Somebody's incoming! Shield. Um, I'm, I'm going to shoot the shelf. Yep. I pull out my guitar. Well, All right. Well, you don't have to do that, but you will. Out. You will. Your weapon will be unloaded. Uh, the the shot. Actually, no. I already have my guitar up because I cast my chance. Sorry. 
the shot from your pistol echoes out and the bullet goes into the 2D image and appears to just turn flat and stays basically animated in midair. Oh. That sound is getting ever so close. I draw my, my harpoon. I sort of get my harpoon out, put my pistol away. Are we all about to die? I'm going to, like, while that noise is yeah, um, approaching. rolling through, shield of faith on Nezor, I'm going to pull my shield, like, pull ready up and cast that on Nezor. The moment you see a threat. As soon as I hear that, yep. so as soon as there's threat, yep. it would be something's coming, I don't know what it is. Okay. If I give, you know, I need to protect people. All right. So yep. you just cast Shield of Faith? Yep. All right. I believe that increases his AC. one of my spells. Yeah, but I believe it increases his AC, yeah? To two. So, so he gets an two. extra two. Okay, yeah. great. Um, all right. The books at the end of the corner on the shelf appear to almost rotate in the shelf. I think this is actually doing what we wanted to do. Potentially, but it's just, it's, I hear a noise that's... Our other option is to go through the hole in the wall. No, we just came from that. I wouldn't suggest... Well, if it's not any worse than it is here. Hey, just while you're doing that, the books on the shelves are rotating rapidly and uh, almost appear to be spinning, but they're intersecting with each other and as a result are kind of just becoming this clutter of pages. And it's moving down all four of the shelves or down both sides of the hallway and it's heading rapidly towards you. And it blows past you and you actually feel wind past you from the movement and the books on the two-dimensional image become three-dimensional. The chicken wind falls to the ground, the pistol shot goes into the bookshelf and buries itself into a new replication of the book that you've just placed up there, which is now completely full. I go and pick a random book and open it to see what's inside. Uh, There is a black page, a green page and a greasy yellow page. (laughs) I'm going to just pocket the um, book with my bullet in it. Okay, yep. I also, I'm just going to grab one of these books. Sure, no worries. Put it. I'm going to see if there's an exit around the corner. <laughs> I'm with you. Let's, <laughs> let's, 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 go, let's go there. Yeah. I'm, I'm, this, see, this is what I mean. Like, I've been here for three hours. I mean, I haven't shot a book, and I certainly didn't try putting a chicken wing or a different You're just book. not thinking outside the box, are you? <laughs> no, Let us go around the corner. Then. All right, sounds good, my merry friends. <laughs> <laughs> and he sort of like... So we, we trot along the corridor. Yep. Yep, yeah. uh, turn the corner and you're in a corridor full of the same coloured books. Fuck. The same coloured books as... As, as, as the one that you have. Yeah. Ah, so we fixed the books to all the same. I'm going to keep going. We yeah. have literally explored a... Like, we're not... Yeah, yeah. yeah it yeah. could just be a big library. <laughs> well, that was my thought, actually. But a uh, boring one. Well, I mean, it's a wizard's library. Even more explain? boring now. All his books are just green and black pages. He'll be upset and when he finds yellow. out what we've it's done such a delicate odour of chicken wings. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I didn't... I, I didn't chicken partic- wings. Well, I mean, I didn't particularly come in here to be kind of noticed, but uh, now that's been done, well... Don't much grab that chicken wing. I hit the ground. You can pick it up if you want. Uh, yeah. Sure, why not? Do it. We're not, gra- we're not actually eating these chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> they can be as soiled as they like. <laughs> okay. So um, you walk down the corridor of the now altered books, and there's a left turn. You turn the corner, and the books are the same. And you keep walking down that corridor, and there's a right turn, and the books are all the same. And you continue doing this ad nauseum until, yeah, it's... Well, it's a zigzag, but yeah. it's not ever coming back on itself. Has no. the light in the roof changed at all? No. No, okay. it's still the same sort of... Red book? Just chuck a red book in there. <laughs> I mean, we had to put out the fire and then start it up again. So maybe we had to corrupt yeah. the colour pattern and then start I'm it up again. I'm going to put back a red, just take out one of those and put in do a we, red Do book. we want... Red or do we want green that we started with? Oh, let's go with green then, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, fine. So I put in a green book. Okay. And the shelf goes into that two-dimensional state again. <gasps> and then you hear, like you wait a little bit, because you've experienced this before, and you hear the pages turning and turning and turning and turning and I'm turning. I'm going to get a blue book and a different shelf. Do it before it can reach it. Yeah, like yeah, just, yeah. yeah. Just, um, Okay. Yeah, okay. Fuck, okay. Um, <laughs> all right. Then I'm going to get a red book. <laughs> <laughs> Try and put that looks really bizarre. <laughs> 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 all 
trying. Just lean in real close and give <laughs> no, it the a weird the look arch. Of the surprise look on your face. I don't know if you're being Jasper, uh, no, you're being no, Matt the DM. I'm being Matt the DM, <laughs> and at this point I'm going, oh, okay. Put some really weird things. Put some in. stress on the magic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Magic All right, magic. no. Uh, okay, so yeah, you slot the um, you quickly slot the uh, the book in, and the pages uh, the, it turns a two dimensional shape uh, as well. It does that weird oil painting feeling, <clears throat> and Okay. All right. So you hear um, <laughs> another ripple coming from behind it. Like it, the one that's closer is coming through, and it's got the pages coming through. But you can also hear like an echo, faint, coming behind it. Um, Quick to the third one. Bad book. But what happens is, as as you're doing this, the noise rounds the corner and blows past on one side only, and it blows through that two dimensional thing, and they turn green. The other side turns the blue color. So you've now got a, a green, green side and, and a blue side. That's correct. I would like us to do two reds simultaneously, one on either side. All right. So you place the red book on the... So me and Scan team up and put red books into the shelves at the same time. All right. Um, it does that thing where it changes colour again on the shelf. So the red is the important one. Hmm. Or different ones, the rest. Maybe because the red one's from a different world. I'm pocket, as Jasper was calling it. Oh, well, I mean, I called it a pocket. I don't really know. I'm not a magician. It doesn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's not the best. Thanks. It's making me feel real valued over here. <laughs> I wish you haven't done much of anything. I've already done. Oh, well, I've done this. I'll be admi- I'll, I will admit, I haven't done this. But if you'd like to climb the shelves and have a look. Nine. <laughs> yeah, I did that in the other one, and it, it's not. Yeah, it just I don't, don't. climb. <laughs> Shame about that. I thought oh, we would have liked the experience. You know, maybe I might test it out in just this world as well to see if climbing has any What difference. happened last time? Oh, it's just you kind of shift and you're climbing up and then the ground appears and you... You're climbing down. And then you're <laughs> climbing down. Thank you, Jasper. Oh, you're welcome. You see, you're helpful. Thank you. So I'm going to see if that happens in this one as well. With, with the red books? Yes. So I start climbing. Yep. Okay, so much. So like, I might get in the position to catch her. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> Just do a de- dexterity check on. Oh, that's um thirteen. Yep, that's fine. You reach the top and roll me a dexterity save. What does that mean? Just, Just add the uh, two. Okay. So it's seventeen plus. Seven. Okay. Actually, I would give you advantage on that, but you already rolled really high. I just realised because you've done this before, mm-hmm. you were expecting it. So, uh, yeah, um, your view of the world alters. You're now looking down, and you rapidly feel that movement happening again. But you catch yourself. Uh, for you fellows, what you see is Abella climbs, and then it's almost like a blink, and she's basically facing the other way around. It's like she's been momentarily teleported. She blinks out of view for a half second. Is there still a part that looks like glass? Is that still an effect that's happening or is everything? On the ceiling? No, 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 on the, 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 the two-dimensional part of the shelf or is it all that's books all gone. now? It turned back into books. Yeah, it turned back into the three-dimensional shape. So these bookshelves are full high. So I'm climbing about, down by the yes, way. Yes, but they've got all their the tops and bottoms. They head height. Oh, okay. And uh, Bella says she's climbing back down. Yeah, and yeah. I climb back down and I get on the ground. Well, yeah. that didn't work. No. Interesting. If everything is magic, should I try and put a magic symbol on to the bookshelf using prestidigitation? Look, that can't sounds... hurt. Yeah. Good so I... <laughs> it might. <laughs> you never know. What? Sorry. What are you doing? Uh, using prestidigitation, I just a random letter. Let's say A. Okay. Um, and make the letter A appear on uh, the bookshelf. It's the bookshelf itself or a book? I'm thinking the bookshelf itself. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Should we take some books out and then you do it on the back of the bookshelf? Yes, yeah, that yeah. seems to make yeah. sense. All right. Okay, so you take the books out and you're doing this with Mage Hand. Uh, prestidigit- prestidigitation. Oh, so you're creating a magical effect on there, making it appear yeah. that. So you're not actually affecting it, you're making it... You make, make a, a, you make a color, a small mark, or a symbol appear on an object or a surface for one hour. Okay. All right. As your DM, you're not going to try a colour? Yellow. Um, I, you could try a yellow book. I can have up to three effects at one time, so... Well, let's do the letter first, then, and Let, then we will try Let's try the letter try A. 
Cool. Okay, so you brand the letter A on the backboard. In black? It will. It can be any color. Silver. Yeah, that's what they got. Yeah. Silver's a good color. There's sort of a noise, but nothing else happens. You can see. It doesn't stay. No, it stays, but there's no other noise. Let's just try a color. Coloring's a red book, yellow. Okay. So. The one in your hand, the one on the shelf. One of the ones on the floor. The ones on the ones on the floor. It, well, it can't turn it a color. It can make a color up here. Before it turns, so you can change. The sorry, Abella. Uh, sorry. Before we do that, can we maybe take some of the books out of the shelf to see if there's been any effect to the back of the other ones? In fact, I'm going to do that. Just yep. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The A's oh. appeared on the other shelf. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. So if we modify one part. The other parts change to match. But not, if, not if we're just breaking it. Yeah. Yeah, can we just a do what I was suggesting before it. and just like smash it? I like this idea. I like smashing things. This well, seems to be actually do something. Mean, We've got a couple ball. of people who are good for smashing. Well, I'm always up for good smashing. <laughs> Could you be less enthused? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I thought you liked smashing I things. I do like smashing. I'm just tired of the books. <laughs> Mm, we are tired. Oh, yes, I know. I've been, I've been I here three hours longer than you. I do much book oh, yes. learning. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm going to grasp my battle axe firmly with both hands and swing it at the A on the back of the bookshelf. Okay. It can um, roll me damage. Don't bother trying to roll the hit because it's pointless. Uh, nine. Just damage. Yeah. Oh. No, wrong dice. Ten. Wrong dice. Sorry. Uh, no, it's okay. D10. We're going to have to cut this encounter down significantly in post. Okay, D10. Uh, two. two plus five, so seven. Seven. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah, it shatters, and much as before, you find it sort of break like glass, and you see another hallway, and this hallway has yellow books. Huh. Ah, oh, for fucks. Okay, so we've got green, blue, yellow, red. Does Can someone, we try breaking the floor? <laughs> does someone have a flint kit? To set fire to things? I think I do. I, I think I think he just wants to burn this place down, which, I mean, I okay. ordinarily I'd agree with you. In fact, we could do that on the way out, but I'm not so sure while we're in it. Maybe. Uh, sort of just, the, I, I just think maybe we don't want to enrage whoever owns this joint. What? Our presence wouldn't already do this? <laughs> so there's a difference between taking someone's things and burning their house to the ground. My, my friend Nezor. Mm-hmm. Would you, uh, or, or anybody who has a magic hand ability, grab me a yellow book from Sister I have actually, my oh, good man. Like well, all right then, Jasper. You no, no, I, I, I misunderstood the question. No, nope, I, uh, I use my hand and I get the, uh, the yellow book. Great. You have a yellow book. <laughs> Out of curiosity, Jasper, what did you think that question was asking? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> I wouldn't want to say in mixed company, sorry. And that's why part of the reason why I didn't say anything further. <laughs> cool. Weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Says the one in the clown outfit. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I so apologize. now we have the yellow book. Do you want to do the thing again? <laughs> I want the yellow and the red. Oh, let's have a look at the yellow book because, first. Well, because the red book was from another. Can I? Or... Can I make a suggestion? Feel free. There's four shelves and four colors. <gasps> It just seems to me, I mean, like, I, I didn't actually think about this before, but there are four shelves, four colours. Yeah, all right. Let's this do is, that. This is an interesting point of view. Yeah, yeah. I'm sitting down and lighting my pipe and having a smoke. <laughs> Can I have a drag of that? I'm going to grab a book if you guys are going to sit around. <laughs> I see. No, I'm down for this. All right, let's put some things. Okay. Do you, my, my, my friends, do you have any issue with what we are doing? No. Or just bored? No, no, I'm just very, very angry and I, I like to... Yeah, I know. I know. This oh, is good. for composure, so I need a breather. Let us try these books then, yeah. Seems like a good idea. Okay, I'll each one there the is four of us. I, yeah, would get the, I would get the red one and the blue. I, I've still got the, the yellow in my hand, I believe. Jasper, yeah, would you yeah. like to grab so a blue So Jasper, grab a blue. Oh, mm-hmm. excellent, thank you. <laughs> and we all together. Yes. One, two, two three. three. The colours change. But unlike before, the sound doesn't make a snap freeze sound. It makes a sort of almost like an unlocking of like mechanisms noise. Ryland's going to step forward and push on the bookcase. So the door pushes open with Ryland behind it, and 
You're now standing in a darkened room with uh, tiered steps that go down to a stage. On the stage is a door, but the door is built into the wall at the back wall. Okay. You say darkened, where's the light coming from? There's no visible location where this light's coming from. It's just sort, sort of, of a gloom. It's a gloom, yeah. Hmm. From from looking at the tower on the outside. Actually, can I ask, like, how big is the tower? Um, okay, so from... It's like a one room or, like, width-wise? Width? Dimensions roundabout from guesswork at the outside. Okay, from guesswork at the outside, it's a fairly large tower, but the proportions and distance in which you've travelled completely defy any kind of rhyme or reason. So either he's done something funny with it or this is still under the tower. So, um, but, like, the tower itself looks, what, 40 feet wide? What are we saying? Like oh, from the much e- more than 40 feet. Easily, easily 200 feet. Wide. Okay, yeah. cool. It's big. Uh, it is a big tower. Sure, so this room is not a level of the tower. No. Okay. No. Sorry. That's, that's mine I'm trying to assess. Absolutely. No, it, I understand what you're after. No. Um, and if anything, you actually feel like you've been going down. So I would ask Jacob, was it? Jasper. Jasper. Yes. You 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 said you came in the front door, yeah? Yes. Yeah, and um, you have been going down most of this time as well? Oh, no, I've basically been following the left. Heading to the left, like a labyrinth. Something like that. You've been dancing, magic dancing. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm the babe. Shall we do checks? Ch- yeah. Check for I, traps. I you know, the perception He's test for traps. That. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. Well, I will be taking a perception test for traps, just just because. No, it's okay, everyone. Have a look around. Uh, no, not very good. One. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Oh, well, down. six. But well, Jasper's eight. also glancing around, sort of looking at things. Uh, Seventeen. Uh, I've got twelve. Okay. Nine. Nine. Um, no, there are no traps. Jolly good. I'm glad we all established that. <laughs> I know we just uh, did a perception check, but it's quite quite dark in here. For those of us who can't see, could we light a torch or maybe one of the lanterns? The braziers. The braziers. Yeah. I'll light it with braziers. Sorry, the braziers. <laughs> yeah, I'll light it. You're gonna light one up. I'm so you burn sure. a pair of bras and <laughs> give it to. There's gotta be a market to for flaming boob-shaped torches. Oh god. Gotcha. Katy Perry concerts. <laughs> <laughs> do we have Katy Perry concerts? As well? yeah, when I no, do we my definitely have Katy Perry concerts because I've kissed girls something. and I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. This is a point of difference between, well, but not between us, but uh, others. Who hasn't Bella, kissed a girl you, and liked it? <laughs> do you like kissing girls and liking it? You know, I don't know. Haven't tried it. Haven't tried it. Well. Anyway, um, what were we doing? Well, the no traps. Um, no traps. Lighting a torch. If it helps, I didn't we, see anything either. No trainers. Thank, thanks, Jasper. Thank you, Jasper. Jasper, how's your your night vision? Is good. Reasonable. Like for a tiefling. Yeah, they have dark vision. Okay. That was really my question. It wasn't yeah. so much a Jasper question as can tieflings see in the dark? Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, I give them Question. Technology. Can yeah. I check my bag? Do I still have the books? Yes. Hey. Mm. Want my bullet? Yeah, that's all there. Good. Good. I might reload my pistol. <clears throat> Hosh is watching that with quite a bit of avid interest. because what, he me knows. reloading? Yeah. yeah he likes He's, the gun noise. He likes the smell as well. Yeah. I he would, yeah, yeah. Um, little pyro, aren't you? <laughs> You're so cute. Yeah. Uh, I like the dragon. Dragon. But, uh, dragon's not dragon sort of a way. <laughs> well, formidable. He is. He is very formidable. I think we need to ask, are you guys related? Not all dragons are related. What, they all look oh, the, the same, same to you? Huh? Well, just a little bit. I mean, around the scales. I'm not no. even going to dignify that with further conversation. He is a lot smaller than this. Keep is. going down these stairs. It's pretty ripe from the teeth. How old is Ryland? <laughs> May I ask how old is Ryland? She's probably in her late 20s or early 30s. Because yeah. I would have acquired him when I was in my early teens, so mm. around about the same time. You're all spring chickens. <laughs> you and your whole look, everybody you've ever gone out with died, so <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and look who I'm currently make... going out with. Are we still well, yeah, I know still us alive. fools. Is this a recurring thing? Because I'd rather not be in a... I, this is what I'm worried about too. Are we still walking down the st- the stairs? Anyway. Oh yeah, let's do that. Yes, let's walk down the stairs. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. We head to the other door to yep. leave. Sure. Yep. No worries. You get up onto the stage, you open the door, and there is a circular room. Uh, there is a spiral staircase. Where the base of the stairs would be, there is an opening that leads downwards. 
It's not an MC Escher drawing. No, it's literally just a circular room. Like if you follow the the curve of the the wall, the wall, yeah. it goes up and then about halfway above, was, basically above, it goes into the ceiling. Yeah. And much like the same trap. on the other side, but in the other direction goes down. It does feel like a trap, doesn't it? Very much so. Who wants to go first, Jasper? <laughs> well, I guess it would be me, Scan. Okay, off you go then. Uh, he gives you a sweeping bow and hops into the room. Yeah, and he's explodes. very cheerful for and, and he stands there and he goes like this. <laughs> and explodes. No, he just... <laughs> damn it! A bus hits him. <laughs> <laughs> no, a train. I like trains. <laughs> <laughs> it's a room. And there it says. Describe it for us, please. There is a room Shoot here him. With, <laughs> with stairs, and they are curling around, and I could probably walk up one. In fact, I will. He turns and he goes and walks all upstairs. Right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, wait. Going up the stairs. Are what? you going up or down? He's going up, and he's gone about three steps up, and he's looking at you like, hmm. Yeah, 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 all right. So we, okay, yeah, let's I go. Follow. We'll follow the door. Follow. Follow. So we let him go up the stairs, and we go down, because I want to lose this guy. <laughs> No. Oh. <laughs> you can do that if you want. I'm still, I'm still somewhat ambivalent. <laughs> yeah. Are we going up or down? Well, Jasper's decided he's going up, so he started walking up. I, Shall we I check for traps? Yeah. The higher we go, the further he falls when we push him out. Oh my way. god, we're not going to push him out of the window. Because Jasper, we're, we're not going to push you out of the window. Jasper, we're not going to push you. We're not going to push you out the window. No, yeah. no one is going to push you out the window unless you betray us in some manner or form. If in you which try case, to kill I'll me, the first one. I'll but push that's you. probably not going to happen. Okay. Don't try to kill or betray any of us. So and no one will kill are you like following me or are you split. waiting? Uh, what are we doing? We're are we waiting until. We'll just follow the stupid teething guy up. Okay, so this evening continues to walk up the stairs, and you guys probably reach the bottom of them at this point. Oh, no, I was, I was. I'm okay, no, yep, you're up behind him. All right, um, so you follow him up the stairs. He comes out onto a landing, looks down the stairs. It's just another landing. Doesn't appear to be anything here. There's no door either. Then, well, I, I come and join you up, and yeah. I see. I have a look around. What What is in the room? Is it? It's pretty much exactly the same as the one you were in before, except this time there's no door. Is there windows? No. Are there braziers in this room that we can light and turn off? Uh, no. Uh, unlike the other rooms, this is illuminated, but again, the light doesn't appear to have a source. It's just illuminated. Is this... Does anyone else feel like we've just stepped onto a perpetual staircase loop? Oh, please, no. I've just spent... All right, tell you what. Um, I'll go down the stairs if you guys want to wait here, and I guess I'll come back up if I don't see anything. Sure. Good. Okay, so he right. runs down the stairs that you came up. And gets about three quarters of the way, and you start seeing him pop out from the staircase. That's actually oh, perfect. Perfect. Oh, perpetual stairs. Oh god damn it! You bastard. Shall I hit well, it with my axe? Yeah, hit it. Yeah, let's smash it. <laughs> let's just jump straight to destroy. I can thing. stab a wall. <laughs> All those in favour of me hitting the staircase with my axe? Uh, I, I look. Why don't not? see. Don't say it'll hurt what anything. The except the stairs, has maybe. To do with the yeah. stairs. Let's let's chop the stairs. <clears throat> let's don't, do don't even roll to hit. Just roll damage. Go ahead. Oh. Um, um, well, I was going to smash the wall. Okay. Because I have a hammer, so they could be free. Well, I'll, I'll axe like the staircase and you hammer the wall. Everyone <laughs> <laughs> just attacks everything. Uh, okay. Oh, great. Perpetual oh, magic. I'm just going to get back and be like, okay. well, that's my house. Eight plus five is 13. Okay, damage. you do 13 damage to the staircase. And you put some notches in it and a nasty hole through the banister, and that's about it. Well, shit. Let's try the wall next. Hitting things is working out well for me up to this point. You were enjoying it as well. Mm. It's oh, good. It's Clarence, are you taking out the wall? It's useful to know for future reference to... therapeutic measures to calm Ryland. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, thing. nine points of damage against this stone work. Yep, um, you crack it, but there's no other damage to it. Oh, if I, crack just it, that, I would just love it. to see the wizard that comes to later. <laughs> just like every room he goes into, there's chicken grease and a bit of the floor, there's broken bits of the floor. Oh, it's like, with it's just chicken basically chicken. they have this same <laughs> problem solving. None of it ever works. I'm like, what else? <laughs> hey, no, axing the wall worked very well for yeah, me. Yeah, but it wasn't, we tried it first in another part of the same one. I feel it was the same puzzle. Oh, I'm going to keep uh, smashing no. the wall. I want to see if I can wall. knock a hole yeah. through it. Roll more damage, please. Uh, five. No, it's just more that's used. You're just damaging the stonework, but it's not getting you anywhere. Can someone try smashing yeah. the floor? It probably won't do anything. Yeah, yeah, it's the point is, I've yeah, got a chisel. Just... I'll use my war hammer and my chisel. Yeah, all right. Ow! There's yeah. a ten. Yeah, no, it's cracking, but it's not moving. And you're basically, yeah, just chiseling into your chisel. Wall. Out. 
Uh, that's fine. I'm going to, while you do that, I'm going to try and chisel through this stone yep. brick. That's so the Clarence point. is chiseling away. I'm going to try. So is the, the walls made of stonework, pretty much? Yes. So I go around and I start testing out to see if any of the stones compress. Okay, great. Draw me an investigation check, please. Ooh. And that is 18. You check the stonework and <laughs> kind of avoid <laughs> Clarence as he goes yeah, to town I'll on this. Yeah, but. Thing. No, there doesn't appear to be any kind of panel oh, or any trash. stone you push in. It's just, it's all hard stone with what's, a spiral staircase. What's the floor made of? Stone. Okay. The roof is stone also. <laughs> the only thing that's wood in the room is the, is the staircase. Can we try prying up a staircase board? Does anyone have like... It, I imagine it's oh. one of those like skeleton staircases. It's not actually yeah, an enclosed staircase. No. It's a metal frame with uh, stairs it, on it. Is it that where you can see down? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's boring. What if you, I'm going to go on the staircase mm-hmm. and stick my head through to the, the stairs and look down. Okay. What do I see? You see my Clarence own. beating a chisel against the wall. <laughs> uh, my own body lying. Yeah, and you you actually see yourself looking down. Yeah, yeah. It breaks the stairs. Um, <laughs> may I have the chicken wing for a moment, please? <laughs> Oh, oh, no, make a small hole in the stairs and drop the chicken wing. It'll be like a turtle chicken. <laughs> this is what I want to find out. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Okay, yeah. so I, I, yeah. I'll take this. Okay, I'm going to drop the chicken wing through the gap in the stairs. All right. <laughs> what? See, more for amusement factors than because it's a good little you, you, you guys were part, we actually buried your axe and actually chipped the good triangle section out and uh, pushed this chicken wing through and it. Falls, falls on your head and continues to fall 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 and continues to fall. And and don't even back. <laughs> it's just no, maintaining a constant speed between this place. So you now have this chicken oh, wing. It would be accelerating because oh it's constantly falling. Oh, yes, through a terminal velocity. Yeah, it's that terminal It's, yeah, terminal it's really <laughs> fast though. <laughs> it's not for a tiny little chicken It's just wing, you, chicken wing. Doesn't matter. Chicken wing. Doesn't matter. Chicken wing. You know, this is the same. I'm pretty sure this is the actual eventual velocity is the same. Um, Am I able to snatch the chicken wing out of the loop? That would require some dexterity. So do me a dexterity check. Sure. <laughs> We're saying, ah, <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, what is this damn um, wanted? Ah, yeah, I think I yeah. do- dropped the chicken wing. Five. No, you don't even hit it. You swipe and you miss. Can I try? I want to try. Yeah, sure, go on. I want to catch the chicken wing. This is a stupid game. This is what happens 17. when you give a slime. Okay. 17. 17. Okay, how are we going with the wall and Clarence? Uh, it is get, the cracks are getting deeper, but there's no progress. It's just you. You now have a large pile of gravel underneath at your feet, but it's not going anywhere. Now, is can it? I try to? I want to. Yeah, go on, roll. I did roll. Seventeen. 17. 17 you missed. Ah. Oh. Okay, that's fine. Can I? Can I? Want it oh. back? I, I want to drop a piece of stairs through the stairs. Who are you people? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing this off. Oh, sorry. Okay, you're the only person here whose power base is arcane. Make an arcane check. I okay. know you only get a plus one, but That's you're the only one qualified <laughs> to make an arcane check. Arcana check. Oh, I don't get arcana? Yeah, as a dragon well. one? No. No, because no, it's a natural ability for you. <laughs> Six. <laughs> That's fine. Oh. You think the staircase might be magical? There's something about this No room. shit! <laughs> what? It's like, ooh! I've only got an arcana of one as well, and i got to say, I guessed that one as well. <laughs> <laughs> You and I are on the same page, Nez. All this is good. (laughs) Are there any patterns or designs on the stairs? Uh, Well, actually, now you say that, uh, there is sort of a... Axe mark. Yeah, well, there's (laughs) There's sort of like broken axe Apart from the dents. Each step has like a little carpet inlay thing. It's just a... It's not coloured, it's just it's just carpet. It doesn't mean anything. But there is... Basically, it's like a diamond pattern. There is nothing especially important about this. It is just literally just something that you put your feet on. Okay. Am I able to rip the carpet off the stairs? Yes, you can. And you do, and it rips it off, and that's it. (laughs) Put it in your pocket. (laughs) (laughs) No, like out of character. I want to make a carpet joke at this point. No, I was going to say something about rug munching, but I was going to go chew on it later. I shouldn't run munch. (laughs) Out Out of character? Honestly, there's nothing important about this carpet. You asked me for further details, okay. and it has a carpet okay. in way. Like, honestly, the carpet's just there for a gay joke. Jesus okay. Christ. She's Christ. really frustrated. You could help her. I'm going to harness my 200-odd years of adventuring and dealing with shitty mages <laughs> and do an insight check. Yep. 
to see if anything pops into my head on how to deal with this bullshit. Okay. That's a 14. Plus? Plus 7. 21. Okay. Um, this particular enchantment is not too dissimilar from something you've experienced before, but um, it still allows you to go somewhere. So the trick is perhaps not so much to do with the, uh, somehow getting past the magic, but understanding a simple key piece of information or um, method of operating the room. Because I was thinking maybe if one person goes up while another person goes down, yep. seeing what that does. Okay. Yeah. I'm willing to go you've, down if you've Jasper already got Jasper's at the yeah, top. So, so basically if... They do that, theoretically, by the way things are working, they should both bump into, uh, each, other. Bump into each other. Well, let's give it a go. Yeah. I'll go down, Jasper, up. Okay. Uh, Jasper starts walking up the stairs. You start walking down? Yeah. And you pass each other. Oh, jolly good. Um, so. All those in favour of having a drink. We should have brought more what of that other, lovely rum. What Friends other resources do we have with us? I only have weapons. Does anyone have anything that's not a weapon? I still have food, but it's not doing much. I'm no. very much in thought of... Um, I love that the chicken wing is still going. <laughs> <laughs> what is Frosh feeling about this whole thing? Sleepy. Sleepy. Oh. Well, it's, it's very boring, I'll give him that. Mm. Um, okay. I have spells I'm doing an arcana check. <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen? Okay. Um, this feels this spe this spell, whatever it does, feels like it follows the perception of the people who are using the staircase. Hmm. Let's, Maybe it's something to do with. Do we? No, sorry. The longer you're thinking about it, the more kind of you're drawing from this because basically, if he's if someone's gone up and someone's gone down, they've both crossed each other's paths, but this thing's a continuous loop. Then the magic's not tied to the, the actual physical. Staircase, it's, it's the people that are on the staircase. So, what, I was what you're perceiving is either... Okay, so I want to go down with the intention of actually going up. I'm going to just walk up and go, I'm leaving this place, fuck you. <laughs> like, you know, strong mind, I'm leaving. Okay. I'm just try and walk out. Like, so you're, you're stomping I'm up the stairs? Focusing, like, yes, like, <clears throat> focus. Okay. Okay, Visualising what I want. You get to the top of the stairs this. and Jasper's there, hello. Everyone what else. I was going to say is maybe it has something to do with the fact that the room is lit, if it's something to do with perception, because... Everyone close your eyes and let's leave. I do that. All right, fuck okay, it, let's do it. <laughs> no. oh, I'm, I'm happy to everybody close your eyes and I will walk up the stairs. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's try it. Jasper, close your eyes. Okay. Closes his eyes. I will now put my hand... On well, I, I will. I will now. I will go to the top of the stairs, and then I will close my eyes and walk up, expecting to actually be in a different room. So you're walking up the stairs with your eyes closed. Yeah, thinking that uh, there will be another room, not the room I ever uh, just uh, vacated. Okay. Yeah, and I take five steps, which would definitely take me into the next room. Yep. And then I open my eyes. Okay. Uh, you are at the top of the staircase, and you look across, and you can see Ryland. Abella, oh, Nezor, Jasper, and Clarence. I'm gonna cut my throat and just die right here. <laughs> <laughs> it's had a good life. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, it would actually be fair <laughs> once in a while for you to die rather than the rest of us. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't have the intelligence. So it's about perception. I. I'm going to go underneath the staircase, stand onto my shoulders, like lean back, and walk up the stairs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> From you the laughter of the game master. <laughs> you go, so, so Scan, it just was like, what are you doing? Uh, Scan goes under the stairs. I'm practicing for my own act as a juggling uh, clown. Oh, okay. Uh, so Scan starts pushing his body up the stairs as much as he can, and then gravity gives in and he's unable to get any higher. As you're basically rocking your shoulders on the staircase, you're not you're not finding any kind of alteration in gravity. Oh, okay. So wait, can I just get clarification on what you just? I just did? put my feet on the underside of the rungs and, and tried, tried to walk. walk. So, so you tried to walk the other way. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Tried to flip gravity, as it were. That's a good idea. Pity didn't work. Mm. <clears throat> 
Just well, are we using this the only way it can be used? Are we walking up it? We're walking down it? I say we push someone down the stairs. You know, I was just <laughs> thinking about that, but I didn't want to say it because I didn't really want to be the I wrote the clown. Push. Does anyone... <gasps> he is I the person who clown. volunteers other people. <laughs> Does anyone have a slinky? <laughs> I'm sure, given time, we could fabricate one. Uh, possibly out of chicken uh, wings. Uh, do you not serious about pushing me down the stairs, though, right? No, 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 no. Okay. No, all pressing down. In, in damaging the walls, do we loosen any chunks of stone? Yes, there is a big pile of rubble where Karen's was going to town on the wall. Okay. There is now a severe divot on the wall. Okay, I'm going to take a hand. I'm going to pick up the rubble yep. and throw it down the staircase. Okay. Um, it's like I'm underarming it down the staircase. Underarming it down the From staircase. From the bottom of the stairs. Yep, does not appear above you. Okay. So the room itself is not. Okay. Nice. I think we need to each take a stone and see if by holding the stone it will allow us to pass into the next space. Because the stone. Do we want to go up or down? <sighs> I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. I think we're still in the same room. Yeah. I think yeah. going up or down doesn't really matter as long as we're leaving the illusion. And if the stone doesn't appear to be subject to the loop, then by keeping it on our person, we may I think be able we to. Go up. Uh, th- I agree. I think we should go up. But we need to go together yeah. because yeah. we don't want one of us to leave and the rest of us to be stuck here. No, that did not. Well, shall we just. Uh, was, well, I mean, I could do it. I'm more than happy to get to it. I would be more than happy for you to stay with us, my friend. Strength in numbers and all that. Yes. <laughs> more than merrier. Um, or otherwise. Well, Jasper actually darts out, grabs a stone, and then hauls us up the stairs. Shoot him past people? No, yes. let's not shoot him. Let's no. uh, Rylan sticks out the handle of his axe and knocks him over. <laughs> Roll a dice to see if you can do that. I'll contest that. Would this be dexterity? Yes. Shit. Uh, ten. Ten? I rolled a twelve. <laughs> so he darts over your la- uh, your outstretched axe and avoids it and continues I up pull the staircase. Out, I pull out my pistol. Yep. And oh. holds like, um, Jasper! This is going to work! And he runs up through the, the top of it and rounds the bottom half. And comes up. Damn it! Oh, good. I'm going... At which point, I shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Robert. How would I just grab him by the scuff of the neck and hold him well, slightly off the floor? He ran past me, so I was tempted to punch him in his I stupid face. I thought you were, you were, you were yeah. meditating. Thank you for disproving my theory, Jasper. <laughs> I'm glad you thought it was going to work. What did you seek to achieve? So the stone will go, but, but it, it won't, won't take us with it. Take us with it. Oh, the stone's still on my hand. Oh. <laughs> So perhaps. Uh, wait, hang on. Grab a stone myself, go up to the top, throw it through. Which direction? And what are you through doing? Through up the up, up top section okay. and throw it into the next room. Okay. Uh, Watching it go through. It flies quite close to Jasper and hits the ground. So it's perception again, I'm watching it. But you know, you threw the hang stone. On. Can I. Another yeah. stone. Eyes closed. And down the stairs? No, no, same, same. I go down, I go get to stone, go the up stone to the top sail. of the stairs. The stone sails. The stone sails through. Okay, maybe down. we need to go um, down. Yeah, I, I was going to say, down. when you threw the stone down, it went through. But, but when Jasper ran up with it, he just came back up. So maybe we need to take the stones and then run down. Hmm. Yeah. Hold on to Jasper. You're very welcome to do that. So we're all doing this at once, are we? Yes. Uh, what Except, is, yes. Uh, Clarence is still sitting there. I don't want to leave him. No, I don't want to leave him either. I'm just thinking. I am not in like a trance of. I thought, but he was taking some time. Yeah, it's taking. Like, um, it's so twenty rounds is an acute like two minutes. Two minutes. Oh, so <clears throat> well, we've been fucking around for a little while. Well, yeah, you've been fucking around for more than two minutes. Okay, so yeah. let's let's all grab a stone and go. Okay, well, just one second. Let's get. Um, so you've been thinking about this. The stones went up in the direction they were going, and that didn't work. The stones went down the stairs and they disappeared. But they were thrown down under underarmed, so they weren't thrown like you would normally throw them. So maybe it's the movement, or possibly it has something to do with the way in which they travelled. Maybe we do need to push someone downstairs. Yeah, we do need to push. 
No, <laughs> no way. Not well, you did just try to He's sort of backing away from his leg. Look, I know that you know, the, the thing with the rock upset you, but you don't have to push me downstairs. I'm fine. Thank you. All those clown jokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you pull that again. <laughs> You'll be decoration. Yeah, well, I would have run off. We're here what? helping you, <clears throat> and you try and pull tricky thief shit. I think you're getting all far too wound up, my good sir. Shall we try to walk downstairs holding the rocks? Yes, and then maybe we'll try running downstairs. I'm going to jump downstairs holding a rock. Well, you you do you. Feel free, mate. Okay, so you jump down the stairs. <laughs> like, well, sort of... Uh, is this all like, so you're just, you're just gonna, you're gonna top, like, <clears throat> roll down? Yeah. Okay. So he's so pushing you, himself down the stairs. So <laughs> you, you sidle up to the side of the thing and sort of just tip backwards <laughs> and roll yourself down there. And you watch... How are you feeling, you all, Clarence? <laughs> you all Hold watch him roll... Yeah, you all watch him roll down the staircase and he doesn't come down the upper staircase. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's Linky idea. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, that looks good. Well, I think I'm going to try that and too. Clarence, you take four points of damage. Oh, maybe not. For what? For rolling For down, down a stairs. Stair. I didn't roll from the top. You did? No, I, I was the sitting the at the bottom room. anyway. What do you mean? The next room down, you go Oh, yeah, away. okay, cool. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to um, make a dex well, check to absorb some of that. Maybe I should... think we should just walk down and see if we can get through just walking. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Clarence, Clarence, do you see a door where you are? Uh, Clarence, you hear nothing. <laughs> there. Okay. You um, are, at the moment, you are in a small amount of pain. When you make sense of where you've arrived, you're on a small landing in front of an antechamber. You see a small plinth, a vase, and an ornate door. Okay, let's follow Smash him. it! But <laughs> you can't see no. it. No! <laughs> I'm very tempted. I'm going to investigate it while these guys do it. Yeah, sure, we'll done. come back so to we're, we're coming down then. It's I not like we're not far behind you. Let's let's try mm. walking so none of us have to take any more damage. Yeah, yeah. I would like to walk backwards down the staircase holding my rock. Okay. Yeah. Ryland walks backwards down the staircase and appears in the antechamber where Clarence is. All righty. Oh, okay, okay. For those of you watching at home, I just did a rock gesture. <laughs> did I, I need I, the may, rock? May I make a, make a further adjustment to it? I'm going to put the rock down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put the. I'm going to take the rock with me. I'm going to put it I'm in my backpack. I'm just curious. Okay. Okay. After after Ryland stomps down backwards, you all stomp down backwards and are thoroughly unimpressed with the security measures of this so wizard's stupid. tower. <laughs> <laughs> Of this. I was partially oh, hoping my neck would snap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Clarence, how, how are you doing? doing? Uh, do you need a. Do you, do you, so, this is rather swish. swish. So, where are we? Uh, you're in an ante an antechamber. You're in an antechamber. Ante no, an antechamber. It's where they keep the arts. Did we need the rocks? No. <laughs> that was my point. I, was, I don't want the rock. <laughs> Frosh has woken from his nap. Um, so why do you have the rock? I don't know, man. <laughs> uh, you are... Uh, <laughs> hey, you know, I solved a puzzle, so, yeah, you know, did. fuck you guys. <laughs> well, um, technically, you sort of solved it. <laughs> I was technically kind of trying to kill right, myself. He had no idea what he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> it, just ha it just happened to say, like, I'm going to throw myself off the backwards off the thing, like, eh, it definitely works. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, all right, so you find yourself... Uh, in an, an an antechamber with there is a plinth and a and a vase, a very nice looking vase. It has some flowers in it, and there is a door. And the door is ornate, and it looks like probably what you would expect on an office door of some kind. I am going to go through the door. Yep. Okay. I, I'm going to take a perception check for traps. Maybe open the door first. Oh, yeah, maybe we'll perceive traps, and then I'm just walking out the door, and if this doesn't work... I have work, not perceived traps. <laughs> Fifteen. <clears throat> Nine. Twelve, twelve, twelve. Mm -hmm. Exactly. No, you didn't. <laughs> Eleven. Might look for Arcana, just be careful. There are no traps nor magic on that you can tell coming from the door. I'm going to sniff the flowers. Okay, they smell quite pleasant. They're a sort of lavender smell. Yeah. What colour are they? Uh, lavender. Uh, no, the lavender -y smell. <laughs> yeah, sort of the lavender words into his mouth. <laughs> They're a purpley colour. Okay. Right, so you go through the door and you're in a large. It, it's you have. A, there was a sick feeling in your stomach for a second, like you've gone over a hill rather quickly in a car, mm -hmm. and you're standing in a large library, which is quite oh, organised, but the, but <laughs> the kind of library you'd find in like a manor. Yeah. It's yeah. quite pleasant. It doesn't appear to have any kind of magical affectations on it. There are books on one side and a row of windows on the other. What and you color can... are the books? The books? 
various different colours. They actually look like they're different or they volumes, all, have all different sizes. Yes, they do, but I will not tell you what they are. I'm going to. I just want to read one title. You're not in the room. The Importance of Dragonbone. Good, okay. By it's Gunter not... Hemmick. Nobody get any ideas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, sorry. Come on. The... I'm going to roll a perception check to find the box that contains the document we're here for. Okay. You don't even need to because it's on his table. Good. Oh. I swap those documents. No, one the of boxes us were sealed. The box. Are you opening the box? No. Okay. Yeah, You're wait swapping. till we're all in there first, maybe. Yeah, I, we'll follow you into the yeah. If you're, you are more than welcome to, yeah. but I'm yeah. swapping the boxes like, we're here for. I feel like once he went into the room, he would have reported, this is, I think, the room we're looking for, at which point we all go in. Yeah, okay, we're all in the same room. <clears throat> all in okay. Well, Jasper has come too. He has, and he's... Is Jasper, that, Jasper well, now... Yes. Let us be clear on this thing. We must do this thing, then you are welcome to everything else. All right. What's the thing? We'll find out. Mm. You may I'm not. I'm already doing it. Like, I, yeah. I would have made the yeah. purpose to walk in well, the thing while I, you are all faffing about and swap them. So Jack I didn't really get through my it. description of the room, but Forgive I wanted to. Me. So uh, there is a row of windows on one side, which it's actually night, and rain drizzles down the glass, but you can see below you the city. Yep. Uh, that was all really I wanted to say other than that. But the room has a nice ambient light. There's a beautiful ornate desk. Yes, beautiful. Boxes. Absolutely, a high, a high chair with a green back. Um, behind it appears to be a large portrait of some kind of woman. Uh, look, appears... Burn it! App <laughs> well, we haven't defaced anything in this room. We'll smear it with chicken grease. <laughs> oh, really she no isn't wanted. showing her face. She's actually turned away in the portrait. Oh, that's um, creepy. Yeah, that's I, disturbing. I and she's in a large, she's in a la, in like a, a light blue dress. Oh, um, um, okay. Jasper's rubbing his hands and has walked over towards the area where you are, Clarence. I, yeah, I, sort of just I would have done that swap yep. while they're all still in there. Like, I would just go on. Okay, okay, it's safe. Walk in, swap, put it away. So I don't want Jasper seeing what we're doing. Okay, well. It, like, yeah. as in... Like, I'm not yeah. being, I'm just going, uh, 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 so you can see I've taken something, but sure. whatever. Jasper, have you got anything that you're looking for specifically? Oh, you know, any kind of safe, vault, keys, anything that really that might, you know, get to me a payday. I think, I think I've, uh, I think I've earned it today, having been trapped in that bloody labyrinth for that many hours. Uh, Jasper's faffing about, um, on the drawers on the desk. He's noticed the box, I was gonna but it sort of it was also sort of dismissed it. I was going to say what I might actually do, just to hedge my bets, instead of swapping the boxes, I'm just going to grab the other box. Okay. And not swap them, so that at least the guy's going to notice something's missing. Because if, if we're doing something, like, we don't have the full story, I'm stealing the document the guy wants, but I'm not putting his forgery down. Do, well, look, do you this, can't wreck on it, but you can follow up the action by doing what you've said. Cool. Which okay. is to grab the box. Yeah. But before we do any of that, I'd like to hear from Ryland, yeah. Abella, and Nezor. What are you guys doing in the room? Okay, well, I'm probably coming and having a look over his shoulder, just like... Jasper's managed to open one of the drawers. It's a bundle of papers, and he's sort of rooting through them. They've all got, like, little seals on them. And it's sort of like... They're just, it's just tied off with a bit of um, ribbon. What are you looking for, Jasper? Oh, you know, like I said, gold, jewels, anything else. No, oh, it just seems like there's paper in here, so I probably... Oh, they're probably communiques, probably very sensitive. I'm thinking of taking them and using them to blackmail him, to, quite honest. Oh, okay, cool. Good luck with that. You know, he put, stuffs them in his, um, his coat. I'm going to mention... I'm going to talk to Clarence quietly and say, we have with us a rather lovely Patsy. I was going to, like... Uh, that was my thing as well, is, is, like, this guy's given us his name. But, yeah, like, when you go, you know... Do it subtly, like... Uh, I would, I would be, be leaving the, the box. He's uh, the one who's stealing things other than the box. We have not stolen anything. Well, Jasper's closed that drawer and he's locked it with the picks that he was using, and now he's on the second one. <laughs> and he, I'm still kind of looking yeah. over his shoulder. No worries. Neza, are you doing anything? No, I don't think there's much of interest for us apart from this box. Mm. I'm... Are you in a particularly acquisitive mood, around? Um, I think I join your huddle and say, are we going to look at it or not? Look inside it or not? That's why I figure if we keep both boxes, we've got the original, we've got the forgery, 
He's going to notice something's different. So, I'm still not set on giving well, the original to this guy. Don't trust him. So while these guys are talking, um, oh. Jasper's unlocked this second drawer and he's like, ooh, what do you think this is? And he picks up a sphere that has like a, a diamond in it and it's a, ri- a golden rim around the edge and it has sort of writing on it. It's like, what do you suppose this is? Do you think it's worth anything? And he shakes it. And then the, the room rumbles. You fucking idiot! It's a snow globe with us in it. Uh... So maybe uh, we'll put I've, that down. I would be putting that back. This is interesting. And he's looking at the dust and it's like, this is like a key of some kind, I'd say. And he sort of just, it moves it a little bit and you can feel the, the, the shift room gravity. shifting with him <clears> moving it. Has the lady on the, in the painting changed at all? No, she's okay. fine. I'm going to look out the window. Yep. <clears throat> um, and ask Jasper if he can see me in the little... Oh, no, no. So the shape inside is literally a... A diamond. Like, it looks like this. Like one of the D- oh, yeah. D8s. Oh, yeah. In a circle. <clears throat> like, there's a, a cir- golden circle that runs around it with, like, writing on it, but it's in sort of runes, and it's in a sphere. If that makes sense. Yeah. Can anybody read that? The I runes. can't. I don't know what the says. <laughs> Anyone? Anyone read rooms? He holds rooms? it out and they can feel the room sort of shift a little bit with this. I would ask you please to not move the thing so much. Have you noticed how it is affecting the room? Oh yes, I think it's quite interesting actually. It is, is there a coffee it? cup or, or like a chalice that we can sit it on so that it's not being touched by an idiot? Uh, he pulls out sort of a three-pronged piece of metal that sort of has like an ornate lip on each, each yep. piece Made of... for it. Yeah, it looks like it sort of sits in it. So he puts that on the table and he puts that gingerly in it and he goes... This is cool. I wonder how much that would get me. I think... I think this is, yeah. Yeah, I think our first priority is how to get out of it, because apparently we are somehow trapped within it. Does Mm. this room have any doors that we haven't gone through already? No. Am I able to open a window? Yeah, you can. I'm not confident we are in a room. No, I was going to say, I think this is just like a security measure. Okay. Like, almost... If you turn it, the building can we can shift the building, I guess. I'd be worried that if he's turning it, someone's gonna notice. Mm, yeah. Mm, that's yeah. my concern. Well anyway, Ryland, you pop open a window and you feel the cool rain from outside and a gust of wind. It looks like you are probably, if not at the top, pretty close to the top of the tower. No, and it is quite a fall. There's that high window we're looking for. I would be uh, be careful to move the bobble anymore. Oh, well, you're standing close to the window, my I was dear. going to say, no, we've got a window open. If we shift it, we should be able to see if it does indeed move the tower, because mm-hmm. we've got a bearing point, which is the town. Can we shift it very gently by keeping it in the um, ornate yeah. chalice? Type yeah, thing? I'm happy to shift it, but just so we know, this is mine. Fine. That was yep. the deal. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. fine. Good. Just, None just of us rotate it like yeah, 20 times. Yeah, just to see what it does. Yep. He ro- might be wise before you try and sell it. Okay. He uh, rotates the thing and the room feels like it moves, but there's no Doesn't change in the vision. All right. I think it's an illusion. Yeah. <laughs> what a surprise. Well, this is cool, but I'm going to keep looking. So he goes yep. back down to the drawer. I'm going to I whoever's close, draw the closest. I'm going to go, what if we smash it? Ooh. I'm hesitant. Mm, yes. yes. But I do it solved an awful lot of other problems. It also does have mm-hmm. control over this room if we destroy it. The room has no control. It might destroy the illusion because this seems to be the base of the illusion. Or us. As it might animal. speed our exit. Mm. It seems if to. It's the a source of all the illusions in the whole tower. Can we do an arcana check on this thing? Sure. Who's got a good so I, I'll walk up to them and I guess discuss this yeah. with them yeah. and oh. then walk back to Jasper and hmm? check this. Well, oh, no, Jasper's put it down, hasn't he? He's yeah, put it on the desk, but he's still close mm-hmm. to it and he's very pretty adamant that it. this is his. Yeah. yeah. Well, I got a uh, 20. Not nat 20, but 20. Yep. Yeah, I you only So what are you doing? You're doing a check on it? I can't kind of check on yeah. it. Yeah. Um, it appears that the little golden disc has several different runs in it that these runes run into, and it looks like they're probably twist independent of each other. So perhaps some kind of combination. Oh, okay. And it seems like the man the reason that this was is worth an arcana check is that it looks like these runes have specific effects that you can preset using this. Um, so does anybody read the runes? Can anybody read those? 
I don't seems, feel like it would be something I could do. To me, it seems like it's actually a security system for the tower. Yeah, yeah. He's leaving. That's the security system. Mm. Armed. Like yeah. setting an alarm. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm guessing. So breaking it or deactivating would be better? Deactivating would be better because if it's that powerful, breaking. where dis- you know, the magical power has to go somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Jasper's finally opened the last drawer. And he pulls out a rather dusty tome and puts it on the table. Yes, great wizard book. All right, and um, he flips open the page. After me? No, it's just like <laughs> look, the dear diary. Ah, oh. he's just reading it. I'm going. To, I haven't actually. I did a nineteen on my Arcana yeah. check, but I'm going to see if I can. Oh, the rune specifically. Uh, on the rune specifically? Uh, to see whether I've seen runes, anything. They don't, like the a, runes as they currently sit don't appear to match. They're not, they're, they're close, but they don't look perfect. And they don't make sense. Like, they're not runes that anyone's seen. Possibly if you put them into a position, they will make sense. But yeah. that's what I was going to, yeah. Do they slowly seem rotate like see if it matches up? Yeah. Like, I'm going to sort of try and match the runes as a whole. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'll just do that. Like, sit there. Mm hmm. Twisting them until they start making sense. I guess. Are you going to take twenty on that, or would you like to roll a check? Um, again, I'll just sit there and do that very carefully. Sure. While he does that, I'm going to ask Jasper. Anything interesting in the book? Um, there's a lot of toff about some artifacts he found. Oh yeah. Uh, it's mostly inventory, to be quite honest. Yeah. A lot of books. Oh. <laughs> He's a big Yeah. What else is there in the room? Like any other display cases or other desks, chairs? No, it's very sparse, actually. Uh, um, although... A real carpet? Yeah, but I mean, the carpet's nothing special. It's no, just no, no, yeah, I'm just describing. It's not burning. So, burn it. <laughs> so, just with my axe. But the only thing that's there that's interesting is the sort of the... one of those shelf um, steps that kind of rolls along the... Oh, yeah. But apart from that, there's nothing. It's really quite spartan, actually. How's it going, Clarence? Sorry. He's been very delicate. Was there anything else in the drawer that had the diamond thing and its chalice holder in it? No. Of, okay. No. Anything on the desk? Like There was an materials? ink font and a quill. There was some paper that might have had some writing on it, but, I mean, it's under the book. Yeah. But other than that, there's nothing, apart from that box. Yeah. Which no longer sits there because Clarence has snavelled both of it. Can I... Um, is... Jasper's still reading the book? Jasper's sort of flicking through the pages absentmindedly. It's an old booking book, like it's probably a good 20, 30 years old. Like it's got those yellow pages you get mm. after a while. Um, and yeah, he's just like... Still anything interesting? Again, Jasper? just artifacts and things he's collected over the years. Oh yeah, anything of worth or is it just all books? Well, I mean... It's worth to some people. Well, that's what I'm thinking. But it's rather big. Don't think I could, don't think I could put that in my well, I don't know if the book itself, but the, the inventory. Mm. That would be the valuable thing. Yeah, but that would be in the vault. That's not here. Where's the vault? Do you know? No what? idea. Mm. Sorry, vault what? Maybe the How book do you know says where the vault would be. Uh, for, it's a wizard. It's probably got a vault. Jasper just seems enamoured with this book. I mean, he's not, like I said, it's nothing interesting, but he's just sort of saying, it's just infantry. It's just books and things. He's... Can I check that he... None of us have checked the book. We're just believing what he's saying. Mm. Yeah. And that's a, it's definitely an inside check. No, he he's, he's on a level. He's... Hey, Jasper, sorry, can I have a look at that? Can sure, if you like. Can I look over your shoulder? Yeah. And what do I see? Well, he, he points out to you, like he's saying, and this is where he found this particular book. He got it from oh, yeah. a trader in uh, one of the Bashanot Atlai regions. This one here he's had hmm. shipped in. This one here he stole, apparently, when he was Ooh. at... That was just an impressed sound. I didn't expect it of him. Sorry, continue. But, well, you know, it's just a whole pile of different books and things. And mm. he makes a lot of reference <laughs> to this artifact he owns, but apart from that, what it's more artifact? something he's oh, it's um, something he's researching to do with illusionary magic, which I figure is probably the thing on the table, to be quite honest with you. Mm. Uh, but yeah, something called. Well, does the, he. Is, are there any. I'm sorry, I was being asked a question. What was that? Are there any clues as to how to solve it, or does he say anything other than... Oh, no, he's just sort of experimenting on it. What did he call it? He called it the Covenant of Lies. Oh, boy. <laughs> We're all fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a one, I don't care. As far as I can tell, it's just a book you write in. 
Mm, but I'm thinking you might have a clue about the covenant. Covenant of lies. Of lies. That's a whole chapter. <laughs> oh, look, I mean, um, look, do okay. you mind if I have... He finds this book at a booksellers because mm-hmm. when he was quite young and poor. Yes. And he nicks it. And then if you look okay. further on here, he starts writing it and using it. At, and what it seems to do is it seems to affect people's opinions. Well, wait, so this is a book that is the artefact? Yes. The Covenant of Lies. Mm. Oh, okay, this yeah. This guy's a bibliophile. Yep. All he collects is, is texts and documents. Can I scan bookshelves for anything? Sure. What are you looking for or are you just I am looking to... for anything called the Covenant of Lies. Okay. Mm-hmm. Or containing the words covenant and or lies. I, yeah, that's what it's at. Oh, oh, one. Which means there are a lot of books here and they all have tiny titles. Eh? Anyone else want to roll better than a fucking one? I'm focused on this too yeah. much. Um, so continue your story. So he found it and stole it when he was young, did you say? Yep, he stole it from a bookseller and he used it and apparently it changed people's opinions of him. This hmm. is how he used to uh, rise. Oh, me, it's been a long night. Uh, rise to power? Something? Uh. Looks like, but I mean, a lot of it is also, you know, he, he's, fucking, he's a very powerful mage. I mean, hmm. that helps too. Yeah. Um, it doesn't really say what he's done with it. It's just he's sort of like, you know, um, no, well, don't do this question. when I do this because this happens. That sort of thing. Uh, Could you give us one of those examples? Just um, out of. Tried to use this to make someone fall in love with me today. Did not work out. Poor woman threw herself from a bridge. Wow. Oh. All right. That's a somewhat negative side effect. Hmm. I'm not sure I like the idea. At least this man knows how to use it. Could we flip to the end of the book? And he goes to the back and he's like, just page, 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 page. Ah, okay. Uh, mm, this was dated yesterday. It looks like it's talking about some ornate box and some document within and how he's been unable to open it as of yet. That's very sus. Yeah, I mean, look. Uh, have any of you seen a box like mm, that? No. I haven't seen anything like that. Yeah. Maybe that's something we should... Do. What were you here for anyway? Did you get it? Haven't no. yet. Hey, uh, that's mine. What are you doing? Wait, I'm does. trying to... They acknowledge you know, it's yours. Fix the magic lock mm. on it. Don't worry. We think worry. it controls the magic in the building. At what, what? We think it controls the magic in the building. Well, all right then, but... So we're trying to turn the magic in the building off to speed our egress, which as a thief I would have thought you would appreciate. Mm. Oh, I was just going to go out the window. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> yes, I was having the same thoughts. Actually, yeah. <laughs> I'm rather a good climber. <laughs> Should have come up that way, actually, but I didn't think he'd have, you know... Windows. Well, no, I knew he had windows. I just didn't think he had, you know... I wonder how far down it is. More than 50 yeah. feet? Mm. It's a pretty tall tower. I mean, I don't know. Do you have quite a long rope on you? Oh, I don't use rope. How do you... He lifts uh, up his big have... hands and he's got rather... Claws. Well, he's not claws, he's got rather like hard looking nails. They're actually a little bit... They're, they're actually a little darker towards the end and they seem a little pointed. He's like, tiefling. Ah, <laughs> uh, handy. Yeah. Uh, good one. Uh, so, how, how have I gone with this? Um, you're actually pretty close. It's hard to tell exactly what you're sort of doing but like every now and then the runes will kind of pass and they'll be like a, an elvish letter that you recognize yeah. and then Ooh, it's like right. the others don't match up so you're trying to get the others to match up and then what I, you're finding is they're different combinations of the different runes within this sort of band it's quite frustrating actually because you're not having you're not succeeding but you're not failing it's just like every time you do it you're getting a little can bit can i further watch in. it with him as well does he read elvish i read elvish i do too i mean oh well, there you go <laughs> Well, I mean, these are literally letters. The runes are letters. They're not like yeah. words or concepts at this point. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I would be doing that and then go, uh, like, and in one of the books that I've got, and just though. noting everything that yep. you know, sort of appears and which language. And if well, it's, it's you know, only Elvish, and yeah. at the moment you've had an M and an R and an X. Yeah. Do you read Elvish? Yes. Good. Guess I'm the or the equivalent of in Elvish. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm so, I'm just impressed we got this far. I mean, quite frankly, I mean, after that that horrible thing in the maze, I didn't think this would get any further. I mean, I, I'm also amazed that we didn't come across any guards or anything. Quite frankly. Well, why would you need guards if you can trap people in a perpetual but loop of staircases? But usually there are, though. Usually there's at least one. Well, I mean, the, the only thing I saw. Do we want to consider the possibility that we have been allowed to get this far? Well, that's rather troubling. 
hasn't this all been a little too easy? <laughs> no, I would not say it has. <laughs> <laughs> no, three hours, no. <laughs> but this There's certain things I can't say in the present company, but yes, I've considered that. Um, I, I'm, so what I will do now, out of character, I will actually, I would um, communicate to probably Abella to distract Jasper. Uh, and then ask if we can open the box? Because he can't. The wizard can't. Yeah. How far is the desk away from where you're fiddling with the thing? I'm out of the desk. Yeah. Very slowly moving things, like a millimetre a second. So, um, Jasper, do you think this painting is worth anything? Oh, probably. I mean... What do you... Th- have you actually you managed to paint? open the I'm box? I'm not sure. I, I just think tried. it's a bit strange that it's a woman painting the other Do you think so? It's, yeah. I, uh, I think it's probably it's got not something to do to with the, fact that she's facing the other, other bloke. Mean, and if a powerful wizard can't, I don't, know, I don't part, trust really giving this oh, I mean, like to him. I just don't see the mileage in not giving it to myself. I wonder... It's back to that uh, argument we were having before. Pretty much. It's something I think we should decide when we're After. out of this place. Do we leave the other box here? Yeah. Yeah. This, this one is a patsy. Well, uh, yes, but I he's get, going to walk in. gets angry. Because the frame is also... He's going to walk in and go, Oh, look, this is the box I can't open. Oh, I can open it now. I was thinking about maybe True. rolling it up. I don't know if that's better. Hmm. I, I'd i like to, about that. if he comes in and right, maybe, finds us missing and goes, who stole my box? We can go. I think that stealing his true. painting might be a problem. It might be a bit yeah. obvious. I'm with you. Yeah. I just can't, I, yeah. I just can't figure out why the woman's the facing me. But it also way. gives us the... Give well, I mean, one that didn't open. I, do you, does it ring any bells for you at all? The No, I, I don't. Mm, yeah, it's... <laughs> I I just, if the wizard gets angry and like we have the box, yeah. we can say, yeah. here's the box. Not really my thing. I, this I guy wants it, or, or why do you yeah, guys yeah, want yeah. it? Like, it's, it's sort of a, I mean, I it puts us in the middle of a potential catastrophe, I which, I'm, you know, no, might like not be a good thing, yeah. but I don't want that guy having extreme power, just as I don't want him. If it turns out it's nothing, well, it's nothing. But yeah, it's probably something we should discuss. I mean, what do you guys think? I think if you keep jabbering, I might miss something. I do yeah. apologise. We were talking about this little bauble. What were you saying? I'm trying to open this box. I was is gonna, ridiculous. I was going to say I was really disappointed that there's not more sparkly stuff in this room, and I was going to possibly see if I could figure out where he's keeping his vault. He, well, I'm with you on that one. We haven't found what we're looking for either. Well, I don't imagine a bibliophile would be interested in gems and gold. Yeah, but he has to buy them with something. Or steal them. And surely the most precious would go into a vault of One some kind. One would think so. The most precious that couldn't be left maybe in the like open air. No, the, you're onto something, I his think. His personal library that we're currently standing in as opposed to all the other That's libraries. That's a good thought. And he runs over to the bookcase and starts running his hand along the volumes and he seems to be applying pressure in certain places. Um, also, you've just finished lining them up and how arrogant this wizard must be because the, the letters around the outside spell Mano... <laughs> Just, mm-hmm. And as as you click it into place, the diamond shape transfers itself inwards and turns into a singular beam. A penis. No. Yeah. It, no, it turns into a it turns into a column. I said beam. Oh, beam. I like I thought you said peen. No. <laughs> and then I go It's not in my lexicon, but it seems to have does so the room I move, now move? It. Yeah, yeah, I do I, that I, and it yeah, does. Yeah, nothing yeah, happens. It's like <laughs> <laughs> Put it back in the drawer, let's go. Oh no, it's sorry. Uh, this is yours, Hello, Jasper. thank you. Yes, Jasper, give it. Yep. Just don't do um, it again. I will go thing? and help Jasper try to play with He's literally people. running his fingers across them and sort of just pr- applying pressure in we, the different rows. Has anything changed ever since we've turned the device? No. Okay. Um, all that's happened is now that he's throwing it around and nothing happens. Well, he'd go out the window. Because we have rope. How tall was 50, this tower? How tall is the tower? From where you're standing, it appears that you're probably about 100, 150 feet up. I've only got 50 feet. Mm. Uh, we've all feet got 50 up. feet of rope. Uh, okay. It's just climbing down the outside's a bit obvious. Mm. I know it's night time and it's wet, but we could be spotted. I'm a bit shiny. Particularly in the wet. Well, you know, we fixed the thing. Yeah, I know. And getting out's 
Yeah. No reason to double Is the him. door we came through still I there? But who's to say yeah, he doesn't do there. that on us? Is it yeah. open? Can I see through it? Well, no, you didn't really close it, did you? It's still mm. open. You can see the antechamber, but now instead of that sort of staircase that ended where you were, it actually appears to go into what looks like a small hallway. It does have like a, a, another archway with a staircase leading down, but there appears to be rooms off the side. Those would be the ones I would investigate, Jasper. Oh, hey, Jasper, yeah. <laughs> oh. There's what room, did you do? Rooms appeared. Have a look down the stairs. Fantastic. Turned off to the security. Yeah. Well, then I'll have that. Thank you. Uh, maybe in a sec. I just, I don't want to seem untrusting, but if you switch this on and lock us in some illusion while we're trying to leave, why would we do that? We've equally filled out the compact. I mean, if you're welcome to come with me to the vault, I mean, just the contents of the vault are mine. That's all. Um, I'll tell you what. There's a thief, he leaves us here. Nothing. Oh, you come yeah. with us down the stairs. When we leave, you go to the vault, do whatever the hell you want. The whole place is yours now. We'll just, we'll leave it here. You come with us. You can understand mm. our, our concern, yeah? Oh, of course. I can abs- un- absolutely understand. But, I mean, I would never do that to a Bella. Aww. That's very yourselves. nice. That's very nice of you to say. Uh, so she's it, the only one you don't want to die in But again, forgives the trusting. It's your. I did vo- say, or anyone else. Yes, but your vocation leads to me being. I'm concerned. a thief. I'm not a murderer. You wouldn't be murdering us, you'd just be locking us here to cop. Which I'm, whatever. There's a difference between killing a man or leaving him in a situation to die. Is there? Well, you've got me there. <laughs> so um, it's just. Escort Bella out with us. Yeah. Like the gentleman that you are. Oh, how charming. And then once we leave, you can do what you will. The bauble is yours, but we've been leaving it here until we are out of the building. So I'm a little bit confused about what's actually happening here. So what you're saying is leave the bauble here, and we all walk out together, and then I have to walk all the way up the track, back up the top and get this. Yeah. And everything else that's in the house that has now been revealed because I spent your five minutes vault unlocking that you're everything. For? Mm. Probably full of more valuable things than what is essentially a locking mechanism for this building. Like, and I'll put it like down. We've established that that's what it is. Yeah, I'll put it down, push it away, and go. All I'm asking is that you walk with us to the exit, leaving that there. Does this seem reasonable? Yeah. Mm, yes. Mm. How do you feel about that? Not terrific, I have to be honest with you. Well, how about do you propose an alternate solution? Well, I'm just racking my brains trying to think. I mean, quite frankly, I really want to get into this vault because quite otherwise it's just been a waste of an afternoon and an evening. I mean, let's be honest. Well, then let's go looking for your vault. It's obviously not in uh, here. I... I think the dwarf has a bit of an ethical issue, to be quite honest quite with you. Quite honest. We're here to retrieve something that was stolen from someone. Not to steal from someone. Well, we're not doing the stealing, but I, what, do I, you want this man? The do you want to prevent this man from? I, I have no I'm, issue with. How about what we do is maybe we could give the hold on to the bubble while we go down there, and maybe we'll have a gentle look around, but we don't have to investigate it too thoroughly. Um, and when we get down to the bottom and when we're exiting, that's when we could give the bauble back to its rightful owner, Jasper. Do you mean Mordeaux is the rightful owner? Well, it's a current Well, it's idea. Jasper's name, theoretically. I would be worried about taking the bauble out of the room. Yeah. I, myself, I, I understand that you guys probably don't have the same moral obligations, um, objections that I do, but I'm not going to be party to... Theft. I'm just trying to grease the veils to make this whole I do thing. understand that. I ethically cannot, I'm not going to stop you, but I will not, going to help, not you. That's help you. Yeah. Yeah. So well, I would prefer to leave. Well, let's go. Well, look, just one second. And Jasper actually walks over to the door, at the window that's been open. And he looks, he kind of doesn't lean over where it could, you know, he could be pushed because he's not stupid, but he looks out and he goes, there's a pile of bushes down there. What if you just throw it down there and then we don't have to worry so much about this? If it we don't want breaks, it to leave the room. Yes, A, we don't want it to leave the room. B, if it breaks... Well, if it leaves the room, what's it going to do? We don't know. <laughs> well, then let's find out. Just poke your arm out of the me. window. I, yeah, the... You poke your arm out the window. Okay. No, with the bauble in your hand. <laughs> No, he'll like, drop it. No, 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 we don't yeah, want that, the bauble to That's what I mean. Up. So all we're asking is five minutes to just walk us to the door. We can have a chat. 
Then you can do and all the looking you, you want. And then you can go from the bottom that's not full of illusions. All of a sudden, we've gotten rid of the illusions. You can search every nook and cranny and find whatever the hell you want. I'm pretty sick of this at this point. We've got what we came for, even though he doesn't know that. I cast Charm Person on him, and now he's super friendly. I have to do a saving throw, but uh, what's yeah. your what's your spell cast level? Charm Jasper. Yep, 13. All right. Okay, well, Jasper rolled a two, so... <laughs> <laughs> so what do you say? You're going to go up to his... Oh. I let Clarence. I so I, I play my little uh, little spell in the background and then huh. signal to Clarence huh. to try again. So yeah, all we want is five minutes of your time. Yes, you escort. Well, I tell you what, that sounds quite reasonable. Why don't we do that? Sounds Brilliant. great. Let's go. And so yeah, I just sort of leave the bauble there. Yep. Sounds good. I mean, I don't know why I'm making such a big deal of it. I mean, I just, I just, I well, honestly, it's really good of you. It's very I honestly reasonable. just Jasper, feel a Jasper, little bit cheated let's... about my own experience. But you know what? You're good friends of mine now. I think we've gone through a lot together. Yeah. I think that if I didn't help you out, that would be criminal of me. Well, and I'm a criminal. Once, <laughs> once we're all off by ourselves, you can come back and find the vault. Well, so also, oh, of course, of course. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. That. If we helped you find the vault, we would be entitled to a share, and you don't want that. No. Well, that's true, but you did give me your word you wouldn't anyway. No, no. And I believe you anyway, let's, let's, let's go. Let's, let's go. Let's not let's muddy the waters here. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Let's, look, I think that you are, have all been fantastic. So are we, you getting, know what? Are we, let, are we getting out now? Yes, yes. we're so, walking so, while he's praising how wonderful. So yeah. how, how, no, no, fast, see, I think how long I does honestly it take think... to get to the door? Um, yeah, so, I mean, you walk into a hallway... More there mindless four... tripe on his part he, while he's... Yeah, he's sort of just sort of saying, like, oh, you know, I really think that we could do more of this together. It would be fantastic to kind of catch uh, up in an inn and discuss yeah, it. Yeah. Um, you know, I've got. I've, he's kept his eye on uh, 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 quite a few things. He's been looking to steal, uh, including some jewelry from a local lady, and you know, um, mm. has actually been eyeing up one of the um, Erhart treasure fleet ships and sort of thinking he could steal aboard and possibly pilfer something off him. What's our employee's name again? Huh? What's our employee's name again? Dupree Dupont. Dupree Dupont. I casually mentioned that. Um, I heard that this Dupree Dupont man might be coming into a large amount of wealth. Oh, yes, uh, uh, Dupree, he's a fantastic man. You know him? Yes, we, uh, we adventured together quite some time ago. Yes, it was great. Tell us about him. I'm curious. Oh, well, I mean, uh, Dupree is uh, he's, uh, an interesting fellow. I mean, he, uh, he helped us construct a fantastic ship. What's that? What does it do? Is it a... Oh, it goes into the dark tides. Thank you for listening to this episode of There Be Dragons. If you'd like to know more about the show, feel free to check us out at therebedragonscast.com for lore, cast information, and updates on our schedule. You can also find us at therebedragons.podbean.com and on Spotify for your listening needs. If Twitter is more your thing, you can also find us at TV Dragonscast. I am Matthew, your Dungeon Master, and Scan Felspath Thufferson is played by Joshua Walker. Ryland Westfall is played by Karen Schlink. Clarence Longbottom is played by Tristan Doust. Abella de Rosier is played by Angela Donlin. And finally, Nezel Valgoulis is played by Tom Moore, who also acts as our sound recordist. There Be Dragons' original theme and scores are composed by award-winning composer Sean Tinian. You can see more of his work at seantinianmusic.com. Thanks for listening, everyone. See you next time. <laughs>